Honestly, Your Majesty, mm -hmm. I, I thought we have gone past this particular issue already. We cannot fold our hands and keep watching you. When you are not ready to take a step, Prince Mofen, you are going to be the next king of this Chala Chala kingdom. And you expected to rule beside a queen who is supposed to be your wife. Meaning you're overdue for marriage. What is it keeping you from getting a bride? Mother, I have told you and his majesty that I will surely bring a bride home. I mean, whenever I see someone who befits my, my personality, I will bring her home. It's a promise, father. Mother, there are lots of bad girls out there. I mean, a lot of bad girls in this our generation, so I'm only taking my time. I am treading with caution like you've always taught me, mother. But there are so many women you can bring home and present to us as wife and the possibly a future queen of this kingdom. Why are you not doing that? Do you actually have an idea what people are saying? How they look at us? Seeing that the prince is not thinking of getting married. I need you to understand something, Mofe. A wife for a prince who eventually will become a queen has an important place in the succession of monarchy. Father, I am not refusing. I am only taking my time, like I said, Father. I am going to be the next king of this great kingdom. I have my visions. I have my dreams of taking this kingdom to the next level, mother. Mother, I need someone who befits my personality, someone who befits my status, and not some random girl out there simply because she's, she's pretty and has nothing to offer, mother. I have my visions. I have my dreams. I have my aspirations. I need someone who will understand these things and help me achieve them, mother. My son. I am not against you taking all the time you need. But I want to let you know that this time you're talking about is of essence. This your time does not belong to you alone. It belongs to the entire royal home and this kingdom at large. If you are not ready to bring home a bride, we'll be forced to bring one for you. Your father and I. In this present world, mother? Whatever. How is that even possible when you don't know my kind of woman? It is very possible. Okay. And what your mom just said now is exactly what we are going to do. Because the way you are going, you, have, you, may, you may eventually lose your right of making this choice. We are, just, we are going to find a woman who is presentable, a woman who is good looking and bring her home and name her your wife. Simple. And once we name her your wife, she becomes your wife. We can make that choice for you. Listen, mm -hmm. when I was growing up, I used to love dark complexioned women. Eventually, see my wife, your mom, who I have married now for 35 years. She is fair. And we have never had any problem whatsoever. I need you to make up your mind on this and make up your mind real fast. Your Majesty, I, I will see to it that I bring a bride as soon as possible. She will be my queen after all, Father. I've been calling you. Calling me? Oh, yes. Of course, you know that's not possible that I can ignore your call. I didn't see it. When? <laughs> Prince, I gave you seven missed calls. Seven? Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. I am so sorry. Rex, please, I am so sorry. I, I, I thought as much. Look, I, I placed my phone on silent mode. Okay, I'm sorry. My parents have been calling me for, I mean, they've been bogging my line from one meeting to the other. 
I'm so sorry, please. No, it's okay. Um, I was actually driving by. I parked nearby a restaurant to eat and then I saw your car uh, close to your office. So I called. I started calling. You didn't take my call. I walked into your secretary. I asked her. She said you're upstairs. Then I came up. And here you are in oblivion. But what's going on, man? Honestly, Rex, I... I am confused. My parents have been on my neck for me to get married as soon as yesterday. Hmm. And they call me every second. They call me every second on this same issue to pick a wife. I mean, I don't know what to do. I mean, what's there to do? Just pick a wife? Oh, yes. I mean, considering your royal status. And every king needs a, a wife, you know. Rex, I have heard this over a thousand times. Mm. I mean, it's like a song going to repeat more that I'm tired of it already. You don't need to. You don't need to, my friends. It's not like you you don't have women in your life you're considering. You do. So why don't you... Okay, how about Jessica? Do you have Jessica? Jessica? Oh, yes. Which of the Jessica are you talking about? Uh, I forgot. You have uh, two Jessicas. But I'm talking about the short Jessica. Oh, <laughs> please, Rex, don't even go there. I mean, that one is nowhere close to being a wife material, let alone becoming the future queen of my kingdom. Mm. That, that's not possible. That's not the kind of woman I want to settle down with. <laughs> she can't even cook. Rex, that lady can't even cook to save her own life. That one is nowhere close to being a wife material, let alone Becoming the future queen of my kingdom. And how is that? I mean... <laughs> that, that's not a lady I can settle for. And she's too, she's too, too flashy. She can't even cook to save her own life. All she thinks about is expensive shoes, nails, and even provocative long nails. Eyelashes. <laughs> that's not the kind of woman I want to settle down with. Certainly not. I mean, she said it. That she would um, be happy if she can eat from the eatery all the rest of her life because she hates cooking. Oh, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the kind of woman you want me to settle down with? Oh, okay. I didn't know that about her. All right. Look, Rex, whenever I meet Jessica, I mean, each time I meet Jessica, it's either one billion or the other. She compels me to pay for either one's expensive bag or nails or lashes or whatever. So-called um, long nails. Mm. So even if I am charmed, I will certainly not settle for that kind of a woman. Never. Okay. And that leaves us to the second Jessica. The other one. Come on, Rex. Why are you doing this? Why? I mean, you know that... Other Jessica is too timid for my liking. She's not my type. She's not my class. Come on, bro. <laughs> I mean, settling for that Jessica is like imprisonment. Where would I start from? Hmm. <laughs> Look, her personality is a no-no. A queen should not only control the maids in the palace, but her subject. Hmm. Her personality won't fly. I mean, come on, not forgetting the fact that uh, 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 she's just too cheap, bro. Whenever you take her out, she tell you not to get her anything expensive. I mean, she, she, she's so cool and comfortable with everything cheap, even the outdated wares. Is that the kind of woman you want for me? I didn't know that about her. Anytime I meet Jessica, it's one billion or the other. Either I'm paying for a bag, or I'm paying for a shoe, or I'm paying for one godforsaken lashes. Bro, even if I am poisoned, or even if I am charmed, I would never settle for such a woman. Never. That's not possible. Oh, come on, um, Prince. Okay, my friend, what do you want? 
you complained about the other being too flashy and expensive. So why don't you go for the Timmy? I mean, see now, an alone if I don't want them. We can actually upgrade this woman and, and bring her to your test and live happily with her ever after. It's doable. I mean, you have the money. I will think about what you said. But please, Rex, do not join my parents in pestering my life. Else I will leave you all and disappear into thin air. Oh no, please don't say that. Don't say that. You know you're not leaving me. <laughs> uh, but um, I need to run along. Okay, so I have a meeting by 3 p.m. I need to catch up with a client. Okay. I will leave you, but um, just so you know, you're not the only one in this. My parents are as well um, snuffing the breath out of me to get married. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you cannot. I mean, what is wrong with them? Okay, now I'm interested in the meeting. Just call me. Oh, sure. Call me in the evening. So we you have can so talk. much to talk about. All right. So much. <laughs> call you, Enjoy the rest of your day. All right, you too. Hello, Juliana. How are you? I'm sorry I missed your call the other day. I was busy in the kitchen. I came for my husband. You know, my husband has refused to eat food prepared by the maids. He insists I must be the one to make his food. He said, a king is blessed with longevity and good health if he's fed by his wife. And I'm here. You know, my priority is to make sure the royal house and the kingdom are okay. You are right, Your Majesty. I understand and feel very humbled. Are you taking that your time to call me and explain things? Anyway, the reason why I called is to ask you about the outfit of uh, the wedding we are supposed to go. What kind of outfit are you looking out for? You, I even forgot. Thank you so much. Um, I think purple and gold we do. What do you think? It's okay. It's okay. It suits you, Your Majesty. Uh, but you see, what convince you? I will go online, get the latest Ashobi outfits, send them to you. You make your choice, then send it back. Your choice, okay? That'd be wonderful. I'll be expecting to hear from you, and do it as quickly as possible. All right? And um, I can't wait for our children to get married. Believe you me, I will travel out of this country. My boy, the prince, that one is a story for another day. That one has refused to get married. He feels no woman is good enough for him and to be his wife or the future queen of this kingdom. I don't know how to go about that one. It's giving me the creeps. Your Majesty, not only you. That is the exact issue I am having with my daughter since she finished school. If I talk about marriage, she would like, Mom, it's an old fashioned lifestyle. I know what will happen. Men will come after her because of what she possesses. And I don't want that to happen. Mine is worse. I don't even know that one is happening to you too. Mine is worse, but I've told my son, if he refuses to get married, I'll personally go out there and get him a wife. Come to Tim Covid. Let's do something. Why not bring both of them together? After all, they've known themselves for a very long time. That would have been the best idea. But our children do not get along, even from their childhood days. They've never been friends. So I don't even know how to go about, about it. It's strange to me. I can't handle it. Your Majesty, you don't trust me. Leave everything to me. Trust me. Just calm down. I will do the magic for you. Okay? That's a good one. Okay, I am leaving it to you. You take care of it, okay? Thank you, Your Majesty. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you again. Bye. So, Rex, you were saying something earlier today about um, your parents wanting you to take a wife. Oh, yes. <clears throat> you know, um, when I left here, I considered the whole thing and 
I was considering Jane. You know Jane, the lady I I am dating. Okay. Oh yes, you know she she has these superb qualities, but then I I don't really love her. But I think if she's really close to me, maybe I bring her more closer. I will get to know her, and then I love her. Wow. <laughs> I mean, this is interesting. I am happy for you. Thank you. Rex, I give you all my full support. Oh, thank you. You know, I... Uh, I was thinking about what you said. Mm. You, you remember Isabel? Isabel, Isabel. Yeah. Oh, Isabel! What about Isabel? I mean, Isabel is expensive. She's expensive. Hey, and please she's... calm down. Okay, slow down. <laughs> Rex, yes, I know she's expensive. I know she's classic. Mm -hmm. I know she's expensive. But then she have good manners. And I think I can work with her. Mm. Okay, so I am thinking of um, inviting her over. Perfecto. It's cool. I mean, at least your parents can assess her up close. Okay. Well, uh, I'm thinking maybe a week or two she get to live because in the palace. Of course, you know, if things work um, as planned, she'll become the future queen of uh, my kingdom. So, and all this can be done within a week or two. Of course, I mean... You lie. You lie, Prince. Prince, a week is out of it. I mean, maximum two weeks. A month, or even more. Hey, please. Of course. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, that is honestly true. So you know if she's good for you or not. Exactly. I mean, I... I can't afford to make mistakes in my marriage. Oh, no. We don't pray for that. Not at all. So, uh, are we still chilling out, like you said? Oh boy, that chilling out thing, eh? See, eh, bro, mm -hmm. I invited Jane, okay? Look, I'm very tired. <laughs> we will chill out next weekend, but not this weekend. This weekend, I invited Jane. And I, I think, you know, due to the constant sitting back in the office and typing, mm. I have backache. Okay. So Jane will do the massage. So this week is not up <laughs> for clothes. Yeah, no, no, no. Next week. what you need is not just a massage. Brother, now you know that one. I just need a little massage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> neck. What are you laughing at? Rich, please, what you need is not just a massage. I don't know what you're talking about. No, that's the fact. I don't know what you need. Well, weekend is fine by me, like you said. Oh, okay. it's fine. Weekend then. I am also tired, so. Oh, hey girl, how you doing? Um, it's been a while. The Prince of Chalachala Chala Kingdom. It's been a while. I thought you left me. Come on. How can you say such a thing, Mr. Bro? There's no way on earth that will leave you, okay? It's just the nature of my job now. It takes too much of my time, so. I'm okay. I'm fine. Baby girl is fine. What's up? Well, I am good. I mean, I can't complain. Um, it's a girl. How's it tomorrow? Like, are you busy? I, I need you to come over to the office tomorrow morning. Whoa. Okay. Um, hope, hope everything is okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Everything is fine. Yeah, uh, just that there's something um, very important that I want to discuss. Alright then. Tomorrow, right? See you tomorrow then. All right. I hope you're you. All right. Bye. Bye. Wow. Look, I told you I was going to send the money to Kay. That's not even done from work. Let me call you back. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I tried stopping her, but she pushed me off. 
It's okay, Rita. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, I'll take it off from here. You can return back to your desk. All right, sir. Seriously, apologizing to your secretary. Really? What does that imply? That I am mannerless from the bush, right? Isabel, can you sit, please? Please. I said, do you realize this is my office? I apologize to her because you pushed her while she was trying to do her job. Really? Do her job? So I need the permission of the secretary before I see my boyfriend. Oh, I collect. You have a thing for well-endowed ladies. And apparently, your secretary is well endowed. What does that say? Excuse you? Isabel, have you lost it? Are you okay? I just told you she was only doing her job. Do you realize this is an office? My office? I mean, you could have just listened to her. It changes nothing. What if I was in a meeting or what if I was having a chit chat with a client? You know what? I shouldn't have come in the first place. Hey, 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 sweetheart, please. Slow down, okay? I'm sorry. Okay, look, I am, I am sorry. I didn't mean to sound that way. Okay, please forgive me. Please. Apologies accepted. Mm. Okay, so, sit. So, <clears throat> tell me, mm -hmm. what is it you wanted us to talk about? I lost it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we could just go to a nice place, I mean, an E3, and um, just maybe <laughs> I'll recollect. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it seems what you have to say is really important. <clears throat> well, whatever you say, my prince. Mm. <laughs> All right, then, let me um, quickly finish up, okay? Just give me some minutes. Father. Mother, I have good news for you. I want to believe that this good news you have is something that is good enough for our hearing. Yes, sir. Good. There is this girl I am seeing. And I am I'm thinking if I... No, 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 don't think. Just invite her up on time. Let her come spend some time with us. So that we get to know her better. Your mother is right. If this good news is about you, having a woman out there that you are now considering for something, then it's good news for us. And considering the fact that you are an advocate of a woman having brains and understanding values, we have no reason to doubt that you must have made a very wonderful choice in mm -hmm. So go ahead and bring her over. <laughs> Mother took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> and that was exactly what I was about to say before she interrupted me. Oh, this will share the same thoughts. Is it not good to invite her over? And it's over this weekend. Let her come spend at least two weeks with us. Two weeks? Yeah. Well, I have not discussed that with her. Um, I will discuss that with her and uh, whatever she says, I will go back to you. Okay. Go ahead and discuss that with her. And uh, so because if she, she has to make arrangements, let us start early to make the arrangements. Mm -hmm. You understand? All right, Father. I, I will do just that. Uh, uh, and if she comes, she's a good person and like her, we start making arrangements immediately. Mother! Yes. <laughs> Mother, please. Please slow down, okay? okay? Slow down. I mean, I've never told you I am planning on getting married to her. Son, if she comes, 
which is a very good person. I'm weak, like her. Same as you. I'm so weak out in my heart. All right, mother. I I am ready. So if you are not planning to marry her, why did you open up the topic with us? We did not open it with us. Just so far as we get to see her and the assess her. Mommy, how long have you been planning this trip? It's an emergency trip. So I want you to go to the palace, stay there, meet the prince until I come back. <laughs> Mommy, mm -hmm. okay. First, you want me to go to the palace. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you want me to meet with the prince. Mommy, I'm not a child. I know what you are trying to do. The prince and I are not friends. I only know this dude as a family friend. Sweetheart, I want the best for you. I know, Mom. I know. I just came out from a relationship. Andrew just crushed my heart with a caterpillar. I'm still battling with that. And you want me to jump into another relationship just like that? Mommy, the prince and I are not friends, like I said. What do you want me to do? All this man wants is your money or prophesy fake love and all of that. I am tired. I know the prince is not like that, but mom, can you just give me at least let me have small time to take care of myself first? That is why I'm telling you about Prince Meher. He is a decent young man with zero pride, even as a prince. Hmm? He's single. I want you to meet him, stay with him, go to the palace. If both of you can mingle, and believe me, we both can tango. Enough of the poetry, Mom. How long are you staying? First two weeks. Two weeks? Mm -hmm. Mommy, you want me to stay in the palace for two weeks? Yes. Can I just stay here? I'm not a baby. I don't need a nanny. I can be here all by myself. I'll be fine. Just do this for me. Do this for your mom. Go to the palace, meet the prince. Yes, I believe you may. They will treat you like a daughter. I trust the queen. She will treat you nicely. And maybe sometimes go shopping with her, make her happy, make her smile, have fun. Please I'll think about that. Please. Okay, I will. Thank you. But mommy, please. Two weeks is two weeks. Yeah, sure. Get to that my friend. Uh, hello. Yeah, hello. Good afternoon, Prince Mayhem. How are you? It is great to see you, Your Highness. Should I keep reminding you of that? I'm sorry. You know, considering the fact that we are family friends, I totally forgot about that. Your Royal Highness, good afternoon. Well, we need to talk. That's better. So what is it? I hope everything is fine. Everything is fine. Um, my mother discussed something with me. I don't know if your mother told you anything. Well, I guess it must have um, slipped her mind. And how is that even possible? We're not friends. We have never been friends. So how is that possible? Uh, okay, maybe when we we'll see, we'll talk about this, but... I know we have a plan and we can properly around the plan. Um, can we see much later? Maybe a bar or something? Alright, alright. It's fine. It's fine, right? No, no, no. If, 
If you're not comfortable, I can come to the palace. Maybe somewhere private. That's perfect. I mean, I, I completely buy that idea. Yeah, you can come over to the palace. I mean, it's conducive and safe. And perfect for us to discuss. I mean, come on. The palace is too big. It's way too big for us to have a private time with that. I think that is so quiet. Okay. So, after work, I guess. Okay, yeah, today's fine. Today's fine. After working hours, it's fine. Don't worry. Just let me know when you're done. Thank you very much. Okay. See you soon. I mean, see you after work. You too, bye. Mm. Babe, are you serious? Uh, yes, so. He told you that. Yes, my girl. He said his parents wants to meet me. And that I'll be spending some time with them in the palace. This mm. is good news. Good good. Good. <laughs> See my friend, you know. Hey, I did so happy for you. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. How long would they stay there now? I don't know. He didn't mention it. He didn't tell me. Hey, mm. <laughs> my friend. You don't have my money. You. you don't have my big money, Isabel, baby. See you. See, palace. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that one too, but you can't wait till they worry me. The mother. You know how this mother in laws they behave now? She go and put eye for person body. And you know your girl, Issa. Issa know they take nonsense. I know go like make person they tell me what to do. I feel change her for her. Just pray, make Grace help me. Babe, they monitor person. Baby, I she want to monitor you when eventually you're going to be staying at the palace. See, I beg, book will leave that one first. All I want is for you to be in your best behavior. Be of good conduct. I don't understand. Listen, they bring Diane's. Hmm? Be of good conduct. Be in your best behavior. <laughs> I did my worst behavior before. Babe. Calm down now. No, they talk like that. No, get manners now. You know your girl. I know. Mm. You know what they talk about. You see all those your posh, posh attitude. All those things where you do. Mm. You need to drop them. You need to be yourself. Mm. Mm. I beg rest Aww, see my girl. Nah, I'm gonna miss you. Oh, <laughs> finally. You don't, you don't accept. <laughs> I'll miss you too, as in I'll miss you. Eh? But don't worry. Once they permit me to bring anybody into the palace, babe, you must be the first. Okay. <laughs> One way ticket, you they enter. Hey. <laughs> and I'll be waiting patiently for my girl to be the next queen of this town. Okay. You know the then boom, I'll you. be a regular visitor. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> like girl, like girl. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 baby. Hey, <clears throat> have fun. It's a bit. Okay, wait till you want. It's a bit. Wait till you want boring. Calm down. What are friends for? Uh, those you fine Indian wears. Calm down. Not the laugh. You know, see my palace at the go. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't go there and start looking like a papa now. Eh? You know, see your girl no get dressed. I need to go there. As now the next queen I want be. I suppose they dress according to them. You know, these rich people, they took see person finish quick. As in, you know, it will take time. No, I know they Before like to you finish. talk plenty talk, I will give you. I go pick. You shall be your man. No one give me one way don't hold. I mean, I'm going for my clothes again. They say, wait, see. It don't hold. Bless you, no one come to Paris. Believe me. Greetings, Your Majesty. Welcome. Greetings, Father. Welcome, my prince. Thank you. How are you today? Mentally stressful, Father. Why? Mother. Yes. I want to get something straight. What's that? Was it before or after I told you I had someone in mind that you decided to get me hitched to Lucy? No, not at all. I knew her before then. You know, you told me... I wanted to tell you about her before you mentioned that you had Isabel in your life. But I forgot I've already having something, arranging something with uh, Lucy's mom. So I knew her before you brought in Isabel. All right, now you know, Mother. Call it off. Yes. Mother, I will advise you call it off because there's absolutely no point. I mean, there's no reason for me to meet her or get to know her. There's no point. I don't know why you would say that. If your mom here 
planned for you to meet Lucy. It simply means the said Lucy is a very wonderful woman because your mother has always been very excellent in all her permutations. Uh, there is no way she will be suggesting Lucy if Lucy is not good enough. So I am advising you to make up your mind to meet the said Lucy and maybe after your interactions with her, then you'll be able to make your own decision. Is this the king's will? Are you trying to impose on me? No, 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 no. We are not imposing anything on you, but you need to understand something. That it is always the wish of parents for their children to listen to them. You know, check out the choices they are making for them. And that is what we want you to do here. Yes, sir. Nobody's imposing anything. Do it for me. I am begging you. I'm not saying you must marry her. But I just want you to get to know her, get acquainted with her, and just give it a try. I know my son. I know my son. He's going to do it. Your Highness, I'm just a call away if you need any other thing. Your Highness, I am actually doing this because of my mother. I mean, I do not for any reason want to break her fragile heart because she's expecting so much from me. Just yesterday, my parents made me give my word that I would meet you and get to know you. But there is nothing to know about you. Mm. I do not like you. I have never liked you. And that will never change. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the feeling is mutual. I have no reason to like you, and no intentions ever to like you. Can we just do this and do it smoothly? Acknowledging that fact, I would say we both pretend for the sake of our parents. After the passage of time, we both go our separate ways. At least they will acknowledge that we both tried. We could never get along. Okay, I agree with you. I can't wait to get this done and get out of your face immediately. But meanwhile, I'm moving to the palace. And we're done with all our plans. This was easy. It was easy, surprisingly. Are you even ready for this? Two women are coming to the palace for your sake. Why do you sound so alarmed by this prospect? <laughs> because one woman is a handful, two is practically hell. Fortunately, Rex. I'm only going to, I mean, getting to know just one. And that's Isabel. Lucy? It's not my business. Lucy is completely my mother's business. We both have an understanding that um, we'll be coming under the same roof for the sake of our parents. I kind of like Lucy, you know, very much. You know, I seem not to understand why the two of you cannot get along. What's the problem? Because that girl is mad. That girl is silly. She doesn't have respect or regard for anyone. You know, the other day I had to remind her to address me the way a prince should. Fine and good, she, 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 she might be rich. I mean, she's rich and as well um, managing her family's business. But come on, that girl is not royalty. Okay, that She right is then. not and can never be royalty. She needs to understand that fact. More my guy. Now, that right there is the pride I'm talking about. Yes. Look, why does this sound like a power play to me? I mean, does she intimidate you? <laughs> intimidate me? Oh, yes. Oh, come on, Rex. 
She couldn't even if she tried. Mm. Lucy is mad. I mean, she fears no one. She talks the way she feels. I mean, she feels as if she's too great. She doesn't even have regard or remorse for anyone. What kind of a woman willingly rejects an, an alliance from the royal house? A kind of woman that has dignity for herself and self what? I mean, Mufe, like I said, this is coming from a place of pride. Or maybe because she didn't fall at your feet in thankfulness because of the alliance. Rex, if not that you're my friend, I would have said you're stupid. Oh, come on, you can say that. This is about an ordinary girl feeling too much for herself. Look, this is about respect, loyalty and attraction. I hate Lucy. I hate her so much. In fact, I detest her. She stinks. Fine and good, she hates me too. I mean, the feeling is mutual. Okay, the feeling is mutual. Mofe, so two enemies who pretend to get along for the sake of their parents. Exactly like I said. We're only doing this for the sake of our parents. That's it. I hope this works. We are seated here all day long, waiting for the arrival of Isabel. Until now, she's not here. What is going on? Does she understand that it is considered gross disrespect to keep the king and the queen waiting? What right does she have to delay the royal invitation? What right? I am sorry, your majesties. Isabel is an entrepreneur who has a chain of businesses. She seemed to be unlucky finding capable hands to manage and supersede the affairs of her business in her absence. What does that mean? Is she coming or not coming? Is the business more important than her future? As the wife of the prince and the future queen of this great kingdom. Mother, that is not what I'm saying. So what are you saying? Mother, what I am saying is as the CEO of her company, she needs to make sure that her business, I mean her company, is in good state and in capable hands before coming to the palace. Please, Your Majesties, I want to plead on her behalf. Please, give her some more time. Fine. Thank you, Father. Yeah, but send words across to her. Remind her that she has no right to keep the queen and the king with him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mother. So you don't think this maroon what you say? What's up? What did they have for now? I thought you were excited about going to the palace. Of course I'm still excited. You didn't excited like this. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You didn't excited like this. Ah uh ah. -uh. I suppose they jump. I better calm down. <laughs> Babe, you need to go to the palace. What happened? You they chase me. You know, you don't care for me. No, I go chase my friend. Babe, I am just concerned. You see what's it? The warriors don't like commoners to keep them waiting. <laughs> hmm? You need to go. That is the point. Let them wait. You see, I know they'll be thinking they've given me a life-changing opportunity. A privilege that I will just cleave to and, and, and scream my lungs out. That I would die for. But no! Let them wait. In order to exude the image I portray, they have to wait. <laughs> Isabel. Isabel, <laughs> madam. Mm -hmm. You see this life, eh? So much styling and rules, these poor things. Ah, eh? I beg. No go change your name, come on for Isabel for the <laughs> I beg, resty. Listen, my dear, get the way I go rush this thing. Go show side the spirits now. Eh? You know, no, you know, so see finish go enter the matter. Babe, calm down. When the time is right, Isabel, we go there. Where eh? could they go? <laughs> yeah. 
Don't go let Epa leave you because of package, you know. Now this package you ain't no get, that make it a kind of broke boyfriend. <laughs> broke no boyfriend for... Everything is your majesty. My beautiful queen. Yes, your majesty. Yes. How is everything going? Everything is going well. <laughs> and I can see that everything, everything is just working almost according to plan. Your majesty, I am still kind of scared. Why? If he says none of them is good enough for him. You know, that has been his excuse for years now. Yeah, but I. You have to give him, give it to him this time around. For the very first time, he had accepted to bring a woman home. And then accepted for another one to be in the palace. All for him. If you ask me, I think that is progress. Your Majesty, you are right. You. But you know our son, he's always quick to pass and form judgment on people without taking our time to study them, to know the kind of people they are. But I'm happy he has not just brought one person, he has brought two people to the palace, so understanding. Mm -hmm. It's a huge progress. Yes, it's, it's huge progress. And uh, something in me is telling me that very soon, his interest will begin to fail towards one of them. And once that happens, we are going to encourage him towards that one. And uh, something deep down my heart is telling me we are going to have a royal marriage. This year. <laughs> Maybe so. It will. I am so happy. I can't wait to have a crown princess. And I'll be totally know how to be the next queen of this Chala Chala King. <laughs> it will happen. It will happen soon. I assure you that. <laughs> I just want to catch some sleep. Help yourself. That's no problem. <laughs> Your Majesty, the King and the Queen of this kingdom. May you live long, and you may your reign be forever supreme. You are finally in the palace. Why did you keep us waiting for so long? And the king was greatly displeased by your action. The prince here pleaded on your behalf, and we decided to show you mercy. Thank you, your majesties. Your majesty, I did not intentionally keep the king waiting and I apologize for keeping you waiting you see the royal invitation was quite a huge deal and I wouldn't intentionally disregard the king's invitation but if it will please you I am willing to be punished for displeasing you your majesties now I can say she has shamed me out of my anger stand I need, you to, I need you to understand that you are a royal guest. And uh, every single person working in this palace is already under instruction to give you the best of treatment. Thank you, Your Majesty. Ask whatever you want. We'll have the guards and the maids to make you comfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, my son, uh, you take her in, make her comfortable. She is a royal guest, quite all right, but she's actually your guest. And I believe you know what that means. Yes, Father. Uh, thank you so much, Your Majesties. Let's go. <coughs> thank you, Your Majesties. We are the maids. Can somebody take that thing to her? My beautiful queen, if you are required to score her based on this first impression, scoring her over 10, mm -hmm. what will the score? What will the score be? I will score her 4 over 10. 4 over 10 will actually mean she has a long way to go. <laughs> Welcome to the palace. I'm so glad to have you first to you, my love. <laughs> Thank you. It is indeed a privilege. 
to be a royal guest in this palace. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Soon you become part of the royal family. So, make yourself comfortable. I mean, if you need anything, anything, mm. don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> okay. uh, one thing. <clears throat> Do you think the king and queen likes me? As cold as I am, I, I feel for you. Didn't you hear the king say you charmed him out of his anger? I mean, come on. <laughs> Who would be with you and not fall in love? <laughs> <clears throat> That's quite a relief. You know what? <clears throat> I will make everyone in this palace, everyone, love me just the way you love only me. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the spirit. All right, um, let me take you to your room and uh, ask the maid to help you with your bath. Feels <laughs> <laughs> good. It's actually an important exercise, and uh, I I trust you to give it everything that it needs, everything. I'll try my best. I will. I know. Ah. What do we have here? Good evening. Good evening. Let's see how are you? This is actually amazing. Mm -hmm. Look at her. Lucy, you have actually grown into a gorgeous woman. I, I still remember when you were very little, how you were running around the whole of this place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your Majesty can say that over and over again. This girl you see here is not just beautiful, but very intelligent. She's the one running her family's business, and she has turned that business into a multi-million dollar business. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. It's not an, an empire. <laughs> you know, this kingdom is actually blessed to have people like you who are doing so well in their businesses, sending very good signals from this kingdom to everywhere in the world. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Um, it's a privilege to be here, and thank you for the invitation. And um, thanks for opening your heart and your doors for me as well. I consider it a privilege for finding me worthy of your son. <laughs> I need you to understand something that you are just like family. As you are here, I want you to behave as you would have done if you were in your father's compound. Everywhere, you feel free, do whatever thing that is good around here without thinking that uh, you may most likely offend anybody. You are not going to offend anybody. Come on, stand up. Stand up. Like his majesty <laughs> rightly said, see me as your mother. Good. Your mother is my best friend. We are like family. Families do not require formalities. Okay? So feel free. Enjoy yourself. This maid will take you to your room. Maid, yeah. take her to her room so that she'll relax. I'll see you later, okay? Good, good. <laughs> How time flies. Yes, and now that we have ladies here, you really need to understand you have a good job to play. Of course I will, my eyes are everywhere. Your eyes, avoid, <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> like. Hello, Mom. Hey, baby. What are you doing? Mama. How are you doing? <laughs> good. I just got into the palace and I have already set foot in. Oh, wow. Quite mm -hmm. right thing to hear. So tell me, how was the reception? Warm enough. At least it's better than I expected. Wow. Well, so I told you, I always feel that the royals are good people. My dear, be good to them. I have to be the pride of those family, and I trust you so much. And I'm standing right as well. Show me your love and Okay, Mom. But please, I'm begging you. You have to tone down your expectations. The prince and I are not friends. I don't know what you want me to do. What miracle do you want me to perform? But I'll try. <laughs> it will take a miracle for us to get along. 
I will try. But please slow down on your expectations. It might not be as fast as you want, or it might never happen. I get what you're trying to say. Well, at least try. I trust you. I trust you so much. So try to get along with him. He will see that you are a very sweet girl, a decent one at that. And you can also teach him to be less cold. Hmm? And teach him how to have fun. Make him trust you. Okay, I know you can do that for your mom. Okay? Okay. I miss you your medicine. Oh, uh, my <laughs> head, I miss you so much. I miss you more. Okay, I send my greetings to her mother. Tell her I will be right call as soon as I get home. Okay? okay? No problem, ma'am. My love, take care of yourself. I will, ma'am. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Bye-bye, okay. I'll talk to you later. All right, dear. Love you. Love you too, ma'am. Bye. But I don't know if we are doing the right thing. How? By bringing them together at the same time. We should have invited them at intervals rather than bring them together at the same time. Having both of them in the palace at the same time, how has that become a problem for you? My husband, what if the girls misunderstand what, what we are trying to achieve? Okay, what if their constant fight ends up discouraging our son altogether? because of their constant fighting and bickering. My beautiful wife, the ladies you are talking about just got into the palace. They have not actually settled in, so to say. And you are already attributing bickering and fighting to the qualities they are going to exhibit. Oh, so, I want you to look at the brighter side of this exercise. They are now staying together under one roof. It is time for them to show us how tolerant they are, how accommodating they are. Listen to me, eh? you know, ability to tolerate others, to accommodate others, is actually what majority is all about. But my husband, with all this fighting and all that, won't it make our son to have cold feet towards marriage? When you talk about your son, you tend to forget you are talking about the next king of this kingdom. We're talking about a man who is going to rule as a king and somebody who has already shown that he has the capacity to manage. If our son is not able to manage the pressure that is coming from just two women, how then will he be able to manage the numerous issues that will come up when he becomes the king? You should give the young man some credit, please. You're right, my husband. Our son is strong and powerful. Good. He'll be able to handle the two women even when they threaten our peace in this palace. Thank you. So I don't have anything to worry about. You shouldn't have bothered yourself in the first place. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> We can at least greet ourselves. Even enemies do greet themselves. I didn't hear you greet. I mean, I would have answered. You seem to forget your status. This is why I hated even when you were a little girl. I am the prince of this kingdom. Need I remind you that you're my subject? And as a cold jerk that you are, what? you have never stopped reminding me since we were little of who you are always introducing himself and demanding to be greeted. Your Highness. I see. 
After calling me a jerk, you use your highness to conceal the disrespect. I could have you punished, you know. Punished for what? That a royal guest is being punished two days after coming to the palace because she stated the obvious that the prince is cold? Say it again. Lucy, say it again oh, and I... Oh, you have... will get me punished. I get it. But it doesn't really change the fact about who you are. I am sorry, Your Highness. I forgot that you always want to be feared. I am officially afraid of you right now. I'm shaken. Please, Your Highness, forgive the subject of yours. Talking to you was a complete waste of my precious time. This should be the last time I'll be talking to you, be seated. <laughs> He is indeed a jerk. Hello? Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm very well, Juliana. Uh, I have a confession to make to you. I don't know if I'm already late, considering you might have heard from Lucy. Confession? Mm -hmm. Why don't you try to make sure you have the palace? I'm not no, actually, uh, you know, before we talked about Eugene, Lucy, and my son together, my son was already seeing a girl. And he invited the same girl to come spend some time with us in the price. Thank you so much. Actually, we asked him to study these two girls and choose out of the two the one he loves most. I Oh my goodness. I'm so relieved now. Thank you for your understanding. I know what I am rooting for our Lucy. Thank you. And most importantly, for my son's happiness. My friend, you always have that you should have some more than for yours. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'll call you again. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Greetings, Your Majesty. How are you doing? I'm wonderful where you're having things. Yeah, it's what I have. Uh, I have sent for the family doctor. And he gave me some things that I am taking. I am responding to it. Oh, you copy. Walk ways. Well, everything is going well fine. And as for Isabel, I am so glad she's close to me, father. Well, I got up, you are always very close to Isabel, more than you are with Lucy. And I'm just wondering, if you continue to stay far away from Lucy, how then will you both get close and possibly get into a relationship? How? Father, Lucy and I can never get along. I mean, we always go into one argument or the other. Lucy is disrespectful. She doesn't have regard whatsoever of my status or personality, Father. You know, sometimes I, I feel she secretly frowns at the idea of monarchy. And why will you draw up that kind of conclusion? Father, because Lucy and I can never get along. We, both, we, we always get into one argument or the other. Lucy doesn't have the regard whatsoever of my person. Look, Father, people fear and reverence me, but not Lucy. Father, I am going to spend time with the woman 
makes me happy. So I only want you to conclude that Lucy cannot be the one. You really need to give her some time. Give both of you time to see what happens. You know, like they say, you don't judge a book by its cover. That rule equally applies to individuals. It is not right for anybody to judge an individual when you have not made any effort to understand the totality of that. Why are you being this mad? I cannot be here if she's here for the same reason. And I said she's not. It's about me, my life. As much as the king and the queen have the supreme authority, they're still gracious enough to let me make my own personal decisions. So who is she? And why is she here? If she's not here for the same position as the crown princess of this kingdom, why then is she here? Can you just calm down, please? Her name is Lucy. She's a family friend. Yes, um, she's a real guest just like you, but my parents guest. Do you like her? What? <laughs> Come on. We don't even get along. Lucy and I are like cat and rat. We can't spend a minute without fighting. We do not share such a relationship, Isabel. Okay? Listen. You don't have anything to worry about, okay? I am all yours, I promise. Promise. If I say yes, will you smile for me? I don't just say yes first. <laughs> yes. You don't have anything to worry about, okay? Wrong descriptions. You're painting pictures you're not. <laughs> Evil deceptions, yes. Forcing into positions that you don't, you don't fit in now, now. Listen, I like the way you eat. You seem to have a healthy appetite. Thank you, Your Highness. My mother said. I hardly fell ill when I was little because I eat very well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> eat as much as you want. Thank you. It's a part of your house. Thank you. <laughs> uh, darling, you hardly touched your food. Is it not to your liking? Oh, I like it, Your Majesty. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, I love it. Actually, I'm a light feeder. I really have appetite for food. Fruits can go, but uh, not carbohydrates. Maybe you'll get yourself something you like, okay? No, I'm fine for the night. I'm okay. I'm, I'm full. Mm. I think I'm, I'm done. That's it. Mm. Thank you, Your Majesties. Thank you. Fake life is heading nowhere, nowhere. Cause everything's fake and everything's false. It's all lies, you don't belong. Cause everything's fake, it won't be long. That you'd be caught and it won't cut through your life. Cutting everything apart. Your lies, your life is heading nowhere. Fake lives heading nowhere. I can't believe this. How can a royal guest be sneaking into the kitchen to eat leftovers? 
Don't tell me you are still ignorant of our patient this part. See, the most surprising part is that she refuses to eat food at dinner. We need to sneak into the kitchen afterwards and eat like a hungry lion. Hey! And she claims she's a light figure, light girl. Don't you see how she's stuffing the food into her mouth? <laughs> Isn't that about <coughs> fast the women living under the same roof as you <laughs> with the question who lands the prince i mean it's normal for me to assume there will be war or drama well you're correct isabel almost left yesterday she did yes almost i mean when she heard that um lucy was also invited for same reason mm. but thank god i was um quick on hand i mean i was uh, <clears throat> Fast enough to convince her, as we talked her to, to stay. So, <laughs> you know, I can be very romantic when I choose to. My God! <laughs> there is nothing left now. I mean, I've known it all. I still think you should get to know Lucy. Lucy is proud. She's arrogant. She's disrespectful. And her tongue is poisonous like that of a viper. I mean, come on, there's no way I can settle for such a lady. It's not possible. You never said anything about Lucy being rude and disrespectful to your parents. I mean, I thought you said she's a family friend. Uh, did you say she's your family friend? I mean, come on, there's no way I can settle for such a lady. It's not possible. Didn't you say you grew up together and she's your family friend? Maybe she feels there's no need for you two to have this formality. Maybe she feels there needs to be no formality between two childhoods, don't you think? Enemies, Ress. Enemies. I mean, we've never been friends. We've never got along. Look, Lucy has always been this proud, arrogant, disrespectful bitch. And she as well sees me as a cold jack, so... I'm afraid that, that girl is real. I mean, they say opposites attract. I just want you to look in deeper, more deeper. There must be something there, Mofe. And don't miss it. No. 
other. You sure about that? them to start asking me questions that I don't have answers to. Especially that queen mother. See that queen? Ha! Ah, she's a handful. I don't tire. The woman they choke me. So babe, mm. it's a shame for me. For your mind now you better pass me. <laughs> you wear a glass for night. I mean even the blind can see now eh? Uh, how was I able to get the prince's attention? As a matter of fact, I will be the next queen of this kingdom. Alpha. What do you get? It has to. Who you get? It has to. You sure now? Uh -huh. You don't get the answer. Babe, I am not in competition with you. I, I do not envy you. <laughs> All I want is the best for you. Aww. And I don't want you to forget who you truly are. Of course I won't forget that. Why? When it is who I truly am that motivates me to work twice as hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> see you now. See us friends. See, see everywhere. Child. You're fresh, dad. I know. Yeah? Just a few weeks for the palace. See you. You gotta eat good food now. What's with that one? No, what's in they bring that insult? Now, if you want insult, why you not tell me say you won't cost me? Oh. Which one be you gotta eat good food now? So I know they eat good food before. Now soured food that they eat. No, carry my talk. I'm outside now. No, yes. I just say I won't compliment. Compliment me how? I don't know some nice insult. Yeah. You calm down. You know, say levels don't change. You go get high, go to talk to me. Ah, please. It's your room hot though. Which one be on? Do you see no they work again? For this house, where me and you they stay before. Thank God you said that before. Level don't change. Now you suppose no this royalty. Level don't change. Ah, you too like what? I'll be relaxed. Ah, you raise voice for me, oh. Then they shout for me like that. Eh? You know who sit down near you? Okay, no verse. Relax. Me can go get you water. One. Which water? Please give me something else like wine or something. Hmm. What's it do? Babes, that man no banish you. Mind how you they talk to me. Do as you I go say. Kitchen. You go kitchen. You go go kitchen. Who are you? Excuse me. Eh? Guards! <laughs> 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 See, my child. What bothers you? Thank you, Your Majesty. Feel free to speak. You are our guest. The royal guest and the royal house is always ready to take care of our guests. Mm -hmm. So feel free. Thank you. I will like it if the royal maids and guards follow me around and out of the palace. Why will you say that? I mean, where is this coming from? Are you by any means feeling that you are not safe? Your Majesty, the royal household has enemies. And as the royal guest and the next queen of this kingdom, I don't want to be a target. So I urge that the royal maids and guards follow me about and outside this palace. Really, really, really. This is interesting. We are peace-loving people and we do not have any thought of people targeting us, even the enemies. I understand, Your Majesty. But there is no rich and influential person without an enemy. I just don't want to be used as, as a tool for settlement in, in the royal feud. Well, I think you have made your point. And uh, your point is noted. But I need you to understand something. On the point where you are speculating that possibly you are a target of some enemies of royalty, that is absolutely preposterous. Your friend, our son, the prince, who is actually the heir to the throne of this kingdom, has been moving around, driving himself around, going about his business, unhindered. And to the best of our knowledge, nobody has ever attacked him. Let alone you, 
who is not even royalty yet, yet you think someone is targeting you. That is absurd. Well, um, in line with my decision and my determination to make all the royal guests very comfortable, I am going to approve and give an instruction that maids and guards will follow you anywhere you go uh, just to give you that sense of security. <gasps> Thank you so much, Your Majesty. I sincerely appreciate your kind gesture. May your reign be forever and ever so be supreme. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Her Majesty. Wrong descriptions. You're painting pictures you're not. Ooh, evil deceptions. Yes. You might stay into positions that you I'm don't. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. You summoned me. Yes, I called you because I have an important question I want to ask. Okay. This lady Isabel you brought into the palace, how well do you know her? Very well, Father. I mean, very well. She has been expressive about who she is. Why are you asking, Your Majesty? Did she do something wrong? I don't like her. She's acting so spoiled and very demanding. Mother, that is because she's from a very wealthy home. I mean, very, very wealthy home. She might not be royal by blood, but mother, she was raised as royalty. Are you aware she attended the special schools for um, special school for royalty? She told you that. Did you verify what year? How was she with her lecturers? Did she tell you all that? Mother, will that not mean me doubting her person? I thought you said trust was the bedrock of every relationship. I mean, would it be nice if I doubt and question her person? Well, Mofe, I need you to understand that ideally, nobody should be asking anybody that kind of question. But judging from a glimmer of herself that she has showed us, if you fail to ask her that question yourself, I will ask her. Because she is very hungry for power. Hungry for dominance. For control and recognition. Your Majesty, what could she have done to be second guest this way? She asked for guards to move with her. Acting like a target to rule your enemies. Mother, that's because she feels insecure. I mean, what is wrong in asking for protection, Your Majesty? There is nothing wrong in asking for protection. Absolutely nothing wrong. But we have a very strong problem with the impugnious way she made that request. Exactly. Exactly. I need you to make me some food and some Vanilla cake with red velvet. I'm sorry, my real kids. I'm not permitted to go to the kitchen at all hours. Really? Yeah. So what am I doing? I am permitting you to go to the kitchen. You know you'll be severely punished if the prince finds out that my needs are not being met. And the prince will not punish her. For following the rules of the palace. You cannot punish a maid for following them. Your Majesty, I didn't see you coming because I didn't intend to come in until I started hearing voices raised. The maid you see here cannot enter the kitchen until it's time for the regular meals like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, but if you are that hungry, and you want to eat something, we can indulge you. As a royal guest, we can bend the rules and accommodate your needs. <laughs> hungry? Mm -hmm. oh, no, no, Your Majesty, of course not. I'm not hungry. Have you forgotten I told you I'm a light feeder? Oh, 
and I really need to shed some weight. And what I have is still heavy on me, so I'm fine. Thank you. I'm glad you're fine. <laughs> Maid? Yes, Your Majesty. Come with me. You need to go to the Royal Infirmary. Excuse me. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'm not told me about that. That must have been a very traumatic experience for you. My queen, it's, it's something I, I, I don't ever want to think about. I mean, I do not even wish my enemy that. Please, can we not talk about it? You must have an exception for this. I have confidence in you. He will love you and handle your heart. I'm not disputing that in the queen. The prince and I have never been friends. I mean, you don't have that collection. I don't know how that's going to work out. That is because you two do not get married. Not in each other each other. Love and hate have a time in mind. Ah, Your Majesty. <laughs> ah, Your Majesty. I will suggest that. Um, we start spending quality time together. Yes. As your future daughter-in-law and uh, the woman that your son truly loves. I would suggest we spend more time to own as mother and daughter. <laughs> I like that. Mm -hmm. So how if I may ask? I was supposed to run him that you feel we are not doing. Uh, well, your majesty, like um, <clears throat> Going out to see places, going out to see movies, uh, going for meetings, and even shopping. Going out for shopping. <laughs> yes, so just let me go for shopping. Yes, Your Majesty. So we can have a long time together and bond as mother and daughter. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Lucy, yes, Your Majesty. Can you please join us? Um, I... uh, my queen. You see, how do we spend our long time together if she tags along? <laughs> Your Majesty, I would have really loved to come along, but I have to declare respect for you. I actually have a contract deal to see. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, so, Mama, yes, sir. Office, the right time for shopping. Now, let's go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mother. You seem lost in your thought, little. What is it? Yeah, I've been thinking about the other real guest. What has she done? She worries me. I mean, she seems to be scoring more points with your parents. Uh, and uh, it's obvious they like her. She seems so perfect. Come on. Isabel, listen. <clears throat> Lucy is their guest, okay? Of course, they should be nice to her. All right? Lucy is a family friend. Yes, she is. So their affection towards her is, I mean, it's understandable. Are you trying to make me feel better or worse? I'm telling you that your parents do not like me. And that is because they prefer you to be with Lucy instead of me. And instead of you to put things right, you're here giving reasons for their actions. Now you're getting worked up. I mean, now you're getting worked up over nothing. Lucy and I have an understanding, okay? We have an understanding that we can never be together. Yes. Whatever she's doing, she's doing for my parents and not for me. Listen, don't worry. Okay, very soon my parents will come to terms. I mean, they'll come to love you. 
they don't have a choice. You are the one I have chosen. I mean, you are the woman after my heart. The mother of my unborn children. Mm -hmm. I know, babe. Are you sure they would like me? I mean, they would ever see me as the perfect woman for you? More than perfect. Come here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So can we go now? Mm, okay. <laughs> Good afternoon, Your Highness. May your days be long and may you read. Will you stop being ridiculous? You know you don't mean it. Lucy, I called you to ask you why are you working so hard? Working so hard? How do you mean? Business? Working so hard to win my parents. To make them love you. Do you silently and secretly love me and wish to marry me or feel so proud to admit it because you know I will reject you? Do you feel good when you flatter yourself? Have you forgotten I have always been your parents' favorite since I was little? They've always loved me. I mean, I can search for love, I can look for love. I am loved already. What was I expecting? That you admit to scheming? That you say something and do something else? Lucy, stay away from my parents. I need you to stay far away from them. You're on the way. You're preventing my future queen, I mean my future wife, from bonding with my parents. You sound like I am a rock obstructing your access. My parents, I do not like you. I have never wished to marry you. Please, I'm begging you. I cannot be a rival, and I will never be. Why is she acting like I'm a rival? I am not one. Then you should stop acting like one. Excuse me. Lucy, please, dish out the food. Uh, uh, your Majesty, I am sorry for bringing this to your attention during dinner. I have been trying to talk to you, but you've been really busy lately. I could barely catch you. Okay, you are finally off the stage. Can we hear you? Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the car I am using is badly damaged. I had an accident with it. Oh my goodness. Are you hurt? You, you can see the doctor. Our family doctor is available. Can take care of you. Uh, Your Majesty, I'm fine. I'm fine by God's grace. And no severe injury, just a minor scratch on my knee. Thank you. That's a relief. A, a very big relief for all of us. So what exactly do you need? I need a new car. I mean, a, a replacement for my old damaged car. As the future queen of this kingdom, I can't be going around in Texas. Oh, that's all right. Uh, if you need to go anywhere, the prince here will take you in his car. And his car is clean and new. It can serve for you and him. But alternatively, you can use any of the cars in the palace. Uh -huh. Where you don't want to use any of the cars, already all the cars in this palace, they all drive very well. And they are all under instructions to give you the best of service. Uh, so they can always take you to anywhere you are going. I, I don't think you actually need a, a new car. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I am not as wise as the elders who could sleep and see things that I couldn't see even when I'm on top of a tree. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. Good. So, 
The important thing is that we are we have managed to you know, solve the problem. Okay. Chris, can you now proceed? Things are not going as expected. Isabel is not happy. She feels my parents hate her and um, they've refused to bond with her. Did you notice any coldness from your parents towards Isabel? They are suspicious. I mean, they are beginning to ask questions. They want me to investigate her and run a background check. I mean, what? What kind of a boyfriend would I be if I don't trust my girlfriend? Mofel, you need to slow down. She's about to be the wife of the prince and the future queen of the kingdom. A few verifications here and there would not hurt the relationship. Rather, it will cast away doubts and usher in peace and confidence. Wow. Look, I... I don't want to get Isabel mad. I don't know how she's going to react. I don't know how she's going to take it. Look, I don't even know why my parents are trying so hard to discredit her. I blame it on the presence of Lucy. For some silly reason, she seemed to be scoring points with my parents when she had um, blatantly told me that she has no interest in marrying me. Look, I'm, afraid I'm sure this is unintentional. You know, because, look, Lucy is nice. And her being nice might make her look like she's trying to win the love she already has. Wow. Oh, yes. Like my parents. You are blinded by her flaws and uh, you sing her praises already? What has she given to you all? You seem to be very happy. It's obvious everything is working for you. Um, Isabel, I'm sorry I don't have time for this. I need to be Can you excuse me, please? I need to talk to you. I just said excuse me, that means you. <laughs> do I look like the maids? Or do I look like your employers? Listen, I do not take orders from you. And in case you have forgotten, one of us will be the future queen of this kingdom, and that is me. I don't see you act like you don't even be like you don't behave like you. What I see is a fake, aggressive, self meeting idiot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. That's so good to know. I am sure you have been itching to say those words to me. But you know what? You are fake. Yes, you are so fake, very fake. You pretend to belittle the, 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 the prince with your disrespect and pride. I'm sure that's your cunning way of making me think about you. <laughs> it is a real. You're close to him, you should tell me. You. We grew up together. I've never liked him. I've never liked him. <laughs> um, Isabel. Your boyfriend is a stone-hearted, cold-hearted, self-inflicting beast. He's too cold for you. That's the last Thank you. I like him like that. As a matter of fact, you have to leave him for me. I have come to warn you. I have come to warn you never to think or dream about becoming the next queen of this kingdom. Because if you try anything, I will use whatever it takes to bulldoze you. You sent for me. Yes, I did. I don't know if you noticed. I am trying so hard to get married. That is something you're not thinking about. How is that my business? 
business. Because you're right on the way. Hmm. You're blocking the way for me. I mean, you're making everything difficult for me. My parents were happy when I told them I was bringing Isabel home. When she came, they looked forward to our bonding. They looked forward to all the exciting moments. But everything changed. Everything changed completely the moment you stepped into the palace. So, what am I supposed to do if the king or the queen sends for me? I should go meet Isabelle and tell her the king or the queen wants to see you. I don't understand. Where is this coming from? Lucy, you don't get it, do you? I don't. Considering the fact that they spend quality time with you, I mean, they spend more time with you. Always tell them about Isabel. Tell them everything nice, everything good about Isabel. Tell them she's good. I mean, she's perfect, she's very loyal. She will make a better queen more than anyone else, including you. I can do anything you want me to do, but to lie to my king and my queen, that I would never do. I mean, your queen or your girlfriend is the total opposite of what you just said right now. And who called you to be the judge? I thought you said you had no interest in marrying me. And you weren't trying to score a point with my parents. Then prove it. How do I prove it? Tell oh. them what I just told you. With these words? Yes. Tell them everything I just told you. Tell them Isabel is good. I mean, she's perfect. Make them see Isabel as the queen she is. Now you can't bully me into saying what I will not say. I will not lie to the king and the queen. I will never. Your girlfriend is the total opposite of this and I will not stand by this. I'm so sorry, I'm not going to do that. Excuse me. You don't. Thank you so much for giving me this job. <laughs> God, God knows I needed the extra cash. I should be thanking you, Monica. Thank you. I mean, am I the one that will come and clean the house? Thank you for cleaning it up for me. Thank you. It's my job. Yes, that reminds me. How is the palace? You and the prince don't become friends. How? <laughs> my sister, I can't become friends with that guy. I don't know what he's doing. He thinks I'm the one making his mother not bond with his girlfriend. Are you? But you have the smallest interest of think about it a little of what it will be like of becoming the prince wife. I've never thought about that. Please, don't even put that inside your mind. I never seen him before. Which prince's wife? My sister. In fact, as it is like this, I will start avoiding the parents. I will start because they think I'm the one not bond, as in making them bond with, the, with, with his girlfriend. No, no. <laughs> I fear for you. The seniorness brings love. Wait, what if you start falling for him without you knowing, just by talking to him every day and seeing him? Just like that. Yes, <laughs> you are watching too many movies. I'll just fall from, move from not loving to now loving. It's possible. Just like that. Yes. No, be for me. This heart is strong. <laughs> Please, I beg. It goes <laughs> soft. The heart goes soft. It's possible. Anyways, take care of yourself. Don't Hello, <clears throat> Isabel. How are you doing today? Do I look okay to you? And just because I am dating the prince, does that mean you should address me by my name? Oh, sorry. What should I call you? Isabel. Brett is my best friend. And I have high regards for him. Rest me sorry. Okay, please forgive me. Okay, I'm sorry if you feel offended by her lessons. She's been going through some adjustment issues and it's cracking it. Oh man, it's okay, I understand. What do you understand? Excuse me. Tell me! And why are you apologizing on my behalf? 
Tell me. I said what I said with my full chest, unapologetically. Why are you apologizing? What does that make me look? Makes you look decent and responsible. Don't start, Isabel. Don't. Rex, like I said, I am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I. I'll come and see you since I'm through with that place. You don't mind? Just excuse us. It's okay, my friend. It's okay. Alright. See you. dismissed her. Why would you do that? Why would you dismiss a maid that was massaging my leg here and now? Uh, my what, did, what did you... This girl... Uh, my queen, I thought I am the... The next queen is still in your own opinion that you're going to be the next queen when you do not possess that power. Just because we are nice and good to you, our subject, you now think we are weak. I'm, I'm sorry, my queen. That we are nice and good to our subjects does not make me weak. I'm truly sorry, my queen. I, I, I'm truly what sorry. Is, Please, I'm sorry. I have committed a great atrocity against my queen. And if it will please and pacify her, I should be dealt with severely. Please. And why did you do that? Do you not think we are both royals and in the same status? No, my queen. When I saw her massaging your leg, I remember when I used to massage my mother's feet. And without thinking, I just wanted to do that to you as a daughter would. I'm sorry. Your intentions were good. But your actions, I can't say the same. You are not my daughter. You are a royal guest. I should act like the guest you are. I'm not, a, I'm not like the owners of the house. Excuse me. and talking. Did you just say chippy? I'm sure you have a problem with your eyes. You don't know fashion. What is wrong with you? Why do you find it difficult to keep my name out of your mouth? Why don't you want to leave me alone? Can you stay two minutes in this palace without calling my name? Is it possible? My sweetheart, I will unmask you and I will disgrace you in front of everybody. Don't fail me. Oh, so because I commented on your fashion sense, you think you can threaten me with nothing? <laughs> Lucy, you are just a bully that I am not scared of. Nonsense. Come here to think about your clothes. So this, this wax that you're wearing, does it look better than mine? You know I could slap you if we were not in the palace for saying this. You know I could. Listen, my clothes are designs. They are customized. I'm the only one who stay in this country. You can't even find two for this. I am the only one wearing this. Yes. Yes, I mean, I really don't want to do this to you. I don't want to do this to you. Right now. Every single thing you say is a lie. Even your good morning is a lie. 
I'm sure this designer has any money. They made it specially for you, for giving. It's Isabel, right? Isabel designers. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yes. Your Majesty. How are you today? I'm very well, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Isabel is doing too much. She does not know her place. I've been tolerating her and her overbearing nature because she's not just a girlfriend to my son, she's a royal guest. She lacks power. She likes controlling everything. She wants to be in charge. And I can equally say that uh, she is of ambitious. It's written in her eyes. Your Majesty, she cannot control anyone because she's not royalty. She moves faster than her shadow. There is more to that girl. Just I don't want to displace my son in digging out her personal life. I would have done that. You know, but had it been we settled for somebody who is close to royalty, somebody close to the family, there should not have been need for any background check or private investigation. Don't you think? Your Majesty, this is because Lucy and the Prince cannot get along. Those two cannot even stare each other eyebrow to eyebrow. I cannot explain the reason for the feud. Well, we must have to find a way to make both of them move together. And the onus of doing that is on you. No problem, Your Majesty. I will think of a plan. I just pray. Isabel does not become an obstruction. Thank you, Your Majesty. As I'm your queen. <laughs> It is not royal to have the bride before her marriage. Okay? We are royals. Mm -hmm. We are dignified and we value the decency of the bride before the marriage. Really? Yes. You have to say this to my face. You have to make me look cheap for coming to you, right? Hey, hey, come on. Look, I, I, I didn't mean it that way, okay? I'm sorry if I offended you, but come on. As much as I want you, I mean, I can't wait to have you in my arms. I still need to do things the way Prince should. Well, it's okay. I'll do it I still need my car. Yes. I'm tired of going around in the vehicles. I need my privacy. The palace is watching me. Why are you acting sneaky? Is there something you're not telling us? Something like. You tell me. I just told you I need my privacy. I need to be alone. There are times I need to spend time alone. I need to drive myself. And I can't do that without my car. I thought you requested for the royal guards to always protect you. I mean, always go around with you. How come you're not demanding to be alone? 
Whoa. What is it? Why are you questioning me like I'm a criminal? What? Listen, if you don't want to do it, fine. It's fine. You know what? Don't even bother. Just say you want your mom and dad to, to get a car for your girl. And, and not, and not, for your, for your, whatever. Are you sure you know we're doing this? I don't understand. What is wrong in the royal princess going out to see an old friend? Well, tell me, why are you driving the king's car? Did you hear when I said the royal princess? Well, <clears throat> as the royal princess of the palace, I am entitled to all the cars in the palace. Gay gay. <laughs> oh my God. You, see, see, <sighs> you need to calm down. Yeah. Wait till the prince marries you and crown you before you could do all those things. All these things where they do, you know they necessary. Wait till they bring this yarn now. Eh? No, wait till they bring all this stock. You see, wait, because they will be friends, you say we still did the same class again. Babes, levels don't change you. Yes, as you see me like this, you're talking to one of the most important personalities. Yeah, so you suppose the pipe blew as you talk to me. Abi, that because I don't carry my palace cards and mates. I mean, if you say if you just talk to me anyhow. Palace means. Yes, you don't know who I be, oh. For waiting, on to. As the next queen of this kingdom, I am entitled to use all the guards and maids for security right there, for security sake. I don't get kidnapping value. Bless you, no, no. <laughs> Maybe. Babes, levels don't change. I beg, no, they to stress me. Uh, I mean, let's go to one um, VIP lounge. I mean, you get like sneak we chill for house. I mean, we'll go on VIP lounge. Isabel, oh, take one or two bottles. Isabel, relax yourself. You see, if you want marry Prince, hmm, you need to stop this your lifestyle of club, restaurants, and all that. Mm. You need to divest your mind. Mm -hmm. I beg you, rest. All, all these fakes is no pay. You shouldn't be fake, babe. I don't you tell. Can you see what you just do that, babe? babe now, nah, because say I no carry maids, then come. Let me make you still the raised voice. Give me. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Talk. I say I be the next queen of this kingdom. Okay. So two things. Are you going with me? I be make I drop you. Then. I know they go. You know they go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, my go. They come down. Let me carry you go my way. Mm -hmm. Seriously, you know they follow me go this way. I'm not going. I'm by force. Alright, no problem. Bye. I'm going out alone. Whatever. Come and close my door. Nonsense. I don't know why you're so used to being poor.
give it a cut. Mm -hmm. Alright, take care. Lucy, Lucy. Yeah, babe. Bestie, they still do not get along, let alone becoming romantically attracted to each other. I need to put them close. Yes, I need to bring them close. I need to put them in an awkward situation where they will see the positive side of each other. You like it, right? I need yeah. to put them in a situation where they will be blushing, at least to, 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 to ignite the fire of passion in them. <laughs> I am loving this already. Mm -hmm. I know you like it. But uh, uh, let me ask you do you have any idea, perhaps, any plan? That'd be wonderful. That'd be wonderful. I'll be expecting your call. All right. Take good care of yourself, okay? I will. All right. Bye. My queen, you don't look like you're dressed to go out. My love, the thing is that I have a slight headache. I don't think I'll be able to take you to the designers today. I'm sorry about that. Okay, it's fine. Maybe some other time. Sammy? Please, I want you to do me this favor. I want you to help me take uh, Lucy to my designers. Introduce her as someone that, that is just like a daughter to me. So that they will give her some attention and treat her special. My queen, you can see the prince is dressed to go out. I... I don't think you'll be comfortable to breathe the same air that I breathe. Mother, what is she still doing here? It's past two weeks already and I've not seen her ready to leave. Instead, she's getting more comfortable. Oh, oh actually, I am sorry I didn't mention it to you. Uh, Lucy's mother extended her stay overseas due to some complications that came up. Lucy has to stay here till further notice. And she didn't what? tell me. Mom, she would have called me. But it is fine. I'll wait for you to get better. My love, my son, can't you do this singular request for your mom? It's just a ride. That is not even of the 30 minutes. All right, mother. Just this once. I will not be seen driving her around town. No, I didn't say you should drive her around town. I said take her to my designers. I'll be outside. Don't keep me waiting. Do not flatter yourself because I do not even intend to ride in the same car with you. Can you stop? Go join him. Okay, your highness. Majesty, do you need anything? My friend, I am very much okay. But I am curious. What are you up to? I don't understand. What do you mean by that? You've just compared the prince and the Lucy to go somewhere. Somewhere you planned, and to the best of my knowledge, somewhere you had wanted to go by yourself. Why will you want them to go together when you know you are fit? For that outing. What is the essence of the outing? I mean, what are you planning to achieve? Your Majesty, if I try to lie to you, you might as well catch me in the act. For that, I won't lie. I'll just tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. I want them to be together. You know, someone has to do something. 
You will agree with me that those two, they hate themselves so much. Just because they have not taken up enough time to understand themselves. So I felt if I should create a scenario where they would go out together, move together, talk together, interact together, they might discover the hidden sparks between them. That's all. I know how much you love Lucy and how you had always wanted her to be your future daughter-in-law. But have you forgotten? When we decided to allow the prince choose his own wife, we wanted him to settle for the one he loves. For the one who will make him happy. Now, if you continue to meddle in this process, don't you think he will ultimately end up marrying the one you want and no longer the one he loves? My husband, I am not trying to impose myself, my will, on my son. But I just, just want them to spend time together. No hard feelings. And in doing that, did you consider the happiness of your son, the prince? Uh, don't be in a hurry to answer this. I just want you to understand that at all times, in all that you do, you should be considering the happiness of your son. Must I tell you everything? Don't you... Shut up, I'm still talking. Do you need common sense to tell you that? I need to be made comfortable. I'm sorry, we are guest, but I have no idea of what you need me to do for you. Wow. You just addressed me as the royal guest. <laughs> Thank you for that. Now, I need to be accorded the same royal service. Please, Ma, what do you want? We have been instructed to serve you. Well, <clears throat> I want a big hand fan, a big hand fan. I want to experience the royalty of being fanned. But this is an air conditioned room. You don't need the hand fan. Shut up. Are you stupid? How dare you question my orders? You are the maid, so you should do as you've been told. And how is that possible? I, I believe you need to see a doctor. Because for you to sweat under a cozy, air conditioned room like this, there should be something wrong with you. Uh, but Your Majesty, I'm, I'm sorry. I think you're misunderstanding me. I, I am not ill. I understand what you are saying. Maybe this particular ill that you don't know what it's called. So the doctor will be able to interpret it because it's a doctor. Just tell him you are sweating under a cozy air conditioned room. So go. There's no room for argument nor debate. So go. Run along. Excuse me. Get out! Good for nothing, idiot. Could she say that? Could she say I'm sick? She don't mind me in presence of the servants. I don't think I have an answer to that. Because I don't know what you mean by if I'm comfortable. What should I respond to? Should I say I'm comfortable as the palace guest? Or if I am comfortable 
as your plaything. Tell me. Why are you sounding so harsh? I mean, you should know that everything takes process. But there is no progression in this. God, instead, everything is becoming worse. Your mother. Your mother is meddling into my affairs and undermining me in front of, of those, those stupid palace servants. God! And you? You're out there riding with that, that good for nothing girl. Hey, hey come, oh, come on. Come on, you're getting walked up over nothing. Okay, I was made to ride with her. Right? My mother compared me to, and I couldn't say no. Your mother compelled you to, and you couldn't say no. Wow. Tell me. So, if your mother compels you to send me out of this palace and get married to that, that idiot, you will do that without hesitation, right? Has he gotten to that? Are you expecting me to answer that? Come on. My mother wants my happiness, okay? She will not make me do anything to undermine my joy or take away my happiness. Look, I need you to just be patient, okay? Everything will work out just fine with time. The same jello fries you used to eat? Or did you learn a new way to prepare jello fries? Majesty, I wish I did. This is all thanks to Lucy. I wish she could share her recipe with me because this is absolutely tasty. This is her making. Mm. Lucy, you prepared this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So not only you are beautiful, hardworking, and decent. You are equally a good cook. Listen, since His Majesty had married me, he has never eaten anyone else's food. Wow. Except mine. <coughs> because he has an elevated taste board. And no other food satisfies that taste except mine. So for him to eat your food and applaud you, that means you could cook and deserve some accolades. <coughs> well, you did a good cook. Mm. Are you talking? <coughs> I'm fine, I have water. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm still coffee. We're on the table. Thank you so very much. I, I appreciate mm. the compliment. Thank you so much. Please enjoy this. You'll be fine, Mr. I am enjoying the meal. Mm. And why are you standing there with me? Go get me water with um, some scented soap and wash my feet. Sorry, we are getting. Is anything wrong with me? You don't ask questions. You do as you're being told. Now, how come you are not on the floor? But do you get her to stoop on it? Is that how incompetent you are? As a matter of fact, there is no poop anywhere in Paris. I thought you stepped on poop. Why did you want your feet washed? Or perhaps you stepped on a rotten food in the ah, Not at all. You see, uh, I just wanted to relax. And I do that by watching my feet. Oh, I see. Yeah. So which mm -hmm. part do you go to have your feet washed? I would like to go there maybe today. To see how it's going to make you relax. Um, <clears throat> well, Your Majesty, actually, I do it myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will have to convince you. 
Because this meal here is going to be attending to something very urgent. So try to do it yourself today. Excuse me. Uh, Come with me. Uh, no, no problem, Your Majesty. It's really not in my priorities today. saying a word. And what were you expecting me to say? No, you wanted me to say that the food was horrible, right? Thereby insulting the, the, the excellent test board of the king. You should have at least aired your opinion. What useless opinion are you talking about? You mean an opinion that contravenes that of the king? Is that what you want me to do? Wow. Well. Really? You don't see it, do you? See what? Lately, the Queen has been upset with me. And Lucy is there trying to do everything to show that she's a better cook and a perfect wife for the Prince. What is you with this Lucy, Lucy thing? I thought I told you that Lucy and I had an agree. I mean, we had an understanding. We cannot be together. <laughs> Maybe she decided to treat the King and the Queen to something, uh, something sumptuous. Why are you overreacting? I'm overreacting. Yes, you are. It's okay. No problem. With time, you will come to understand that the Lucy you know is not a woman of her words. She says this and does differently. With time. How dare you? How dare you low lives wrinkle me? How dare you? Kneel the spirit. Hands up. Get up off your hands up. You there, hands up. It's yours. How dare you? Rubbish. Do you know how to And what do you think you're doing? What does you look like I'm doing? What is she there for bad mouthing me, of course? I am sorry to spoke to you, but what you're doing is it is only the lawyers that have the right to play this subject. Uh, hey. Wow. What? Wow. Well, well, well. You have finally said it. Yes. You have said it. So I do not have the right to punish those things. Because there is no difference between the two. Right? I did not say that, Isabel. I am only worried for you. If the king and the queen gets to know about this, it will further create a risk between you and them. And if I may ask, what did they say? Could you believe that those good for nothing names, the praising Lucy, they said that they said she was a better cook and then that they wished you ended up with her instead of me. They even have the nerves to call me a monster! <laughs> What's funny? Are you a monster? Oh, of course! Am I supposed to answer that? Come on, Isabel, you know you shouldn't take your words to heart. Hmm? What if you feel so concerned about the action? I think you should go and prepare something nice. Never. I wouldn't. I, Isabel, will not stoop so low as to go into that kitchen to prepare whatever it is because I want to prove a point to the maids that I am a better cook. No, I wouldn't. Those are shows for the maids and not for the next queen of this kingdom. I wouldn't stoop that low. No. What did you say? The next queen of this kingdom. The next queen of this kingdom. Isabel, that is a very myopic way of reason because my mother the queen still keeps my father, the king, the queen of this kingdom, tell us our kingdom, Isabel. Mofe, it has come to my notice that Isabel 
the means, the subjects who work in this palace. Where did you hear that from, Father? Someone is conspiring against her? I don't understand. Do you want to put the blame on Lucy? Okay, sorry to disappoint you. I didn't hear that from the subjects, let alone from Lucy. I witnessed it myself. That girl is a control freak. She's overbearing. She's power drunk. A king's wife is not just a wife to the king, not to her children, but a mother to her subjects. A king's wife is made powerful, yet compassionate as a woman should be. She's made strong and brave, not just for her selfish gain or personal gain, but for the benefit and protection of her husband and the entire kingdom. Not this control idiot. Out of the best of my knowledge, Isabel does not possess any of the qualities my beautiful wife just listed. And that will bring me to the question I want to ask you. Is she really the kind of woman you want to spend the rest of your life with? If the answer happens to be yes, that you have considered everything and you are deciding for her, then I want you to send words across to her parents. Tell them that we have equally decided to go into marriage negotiation with them. I... Are you serious, Your Majesty? Yes. Are you willing to accept her? No. That didn't come out well. That wasn't what he meant. But I'm saying we shouldn't be in a hurry to do anything with that girl. That's what that's not what well, he well, meant. My that didn't come wife, out well. My beautiful wife, it came out well. What I intended to say was actually what I said. If after everything. You are deciding that she is the best, that she is the one you want to spend the rest of your life with? Then tell her parents that we are ready to go into marriage alignment with them. Thank you, Father. Thank, thank you so much, Your Majesty. Thank you. Thank you, Mother. I want you to get that dirty imagination off your head. Because everyone who knows me knows that you're certainly not the kind of woman I'll be sneaking around with. So, why do you always want me to see you here? Cooking? Seriously? Lucy, are you, are you dying to be noticed? Lucy, are you dying to be noticed? You now play the good cook card game to swim my parents towards you. My prince, this is so embarrassing. I don't go for men. Men come for me. Yes. Good. I like the way you put it. Men come for you. That will never ever happen with me. I like the way you put it. Men come for you. That will never happen with me. Lucy. Stop cooking. Stop doing things for my parents to make them happy and love you. I thought you said you are planning on something to Get yourself off this picture. Are you changing your mind already? Hell no. 
let me think. I need to be creative. So whatever I plan, we perfect the plan and I am gone, I'm out of your face. Then get done with it. This energy draining entertaining the thought of marrying you. And it's frustrating seeing you in the palace. The feeling is mutual. calling this late now. What's happening? I just made a terrible mistake. And I believe they are beginning to suspect me. What did you do? Babe, I told a terrible lie. I lied that I don't like seafood. And they changed their food times table because of me. <sighs> that shouldn't be a problem now. You just need to keep up with that that you don't like seafood. Who said that shouldn't be a problem? What if someone finds out that I like seafood? You know your papers. That's good. It's a bit of lies. Why should you not know if you just live real for once to disturb my sleep? I sleep out, Why are you stalking me? The question should be why are you such a terrible liar? Well, we are not in any conversation. Why would you call me a liar? I, I, I don't like seafood. I am allergic to seafood. Uh, the last time I ate seafood, I was, I, was, I was admitted in the hospital. You just confirmed everything you said was a lie. What do you hope to achieve? <coughs> I would have slapped you tonight. For the reason I'm not slapping you, it's because of the rules in this palace. The next time you stop or try to lead it into my affairs, I'll repeat you. Isabel. Your Majesty. You know, we actually readjusted our food time table. Replacing the normal seafood we eat on Wednesdays with curry rice uh, just to accommodate you. I don't know if you like this. Of course, I do. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Thank you for the adjustments. The truth is, whenever I eat seafood, I have allergies. The last time I had it, I landed in the hospital. I was hospitalized for months. Just go to the kitchen and sit through the Food time table. There's any food there you don't like. I'm going to clear just for you immediately. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. I sincerely appreciate your kind gesture. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, Isabel, the seafood is actually very good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really not as if I said, pick up the food. I don't know. I'll teach you how to eat it. That's good. And how to cook it as well. I don't like seafood. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. Calm down. She didn't mean any harm. Mm -hmm. She only made a suggestion. Is that how you take it off? Mother, um, please, can we all just concentrate on our meal? Please. Sure. We are eating already. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Sure. Love me, Uganda. And if I can, if I can, Lucy can teach her how to start eating seafood. I see what I'm doing. As the future queen of this kingdom, the majesty is very strong. It's for Shasa. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Lucian? Yes. You don't have food? Thank you, madam. Sabah? No, it's your eating. You can put a link in the eye, okay? Your Highness. For me. Yes, I did. And that's because I miss you. 
what you miss me? I mean, is that not enough reason to call you out? Well, let's not go into that, okay? Actually, I... I need you to inform your parents that... The king has finally approved of the marriage alliance. So we need to go ahead with the marriage preparations as soon as possible. It's a lie. <laughs> My prince. Mm -hmm. You mean the king and the queen have finally accepted? Wow! <laughs> That's good news. Oh my god. Mm. You mean I will be the crown princess and the next queen of this kingdom? Of course, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I Come cannot on. wait to be the queen. Mm. Oh yes, Spectre. Of course, they would do anything for their loving son. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, um, you need to have me speak to your parents as soon as possible. Okay, so I can tell them about the king's decision and invite them officially for the marriage preparations. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, this is good news. My mother will be overly excited. Mm -hmm. I mean, she will take the next available flight from Canada straight to uh -huh. Nigeria. <laughs> God, I'm so excited, baby. I am so excited too. I mean, I can't wait to see your mom. I can't wait to be the queen of this kingdom. Mm. Come here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, 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 mommy, what is chief are you trying to plan this time? What are you doing? <sighs> mommy, it is two weeks now you're supposed to be here. Why are you not here? What are you trying to do? I'm sorry, my love. Things mm? got complicated over here. And I need to sort them up before coming home. Okay, that's fine. The prince and I can never be a thing. Besides, Isabel and the prince are getting married, so I need to leave the palace. You need to come back, please. I'm tired of this place. I need to go home. You can't allow that, baby girl. You can't. I trust you. I know what you can do. You are never one to concede defeat. You must win this. <laughs> Mommy, like you don't understand. There's no war anyway. I'm not fighting for the prince. So I don't, I, I don't understand what you're saying. Mom, the next time I'll be speaking with you, I will be at home. I promise you. <laughs> See that? I know what is best for you. I am your mother. And the prince is the best for you. Okay, Mama. At this point, I am tired. I need to go to bed. But I promise you the next time I'll be speaking with you, I will be at home. If you don't want to come, no problem. I will leave and I will get home on time. Lucy. Mom, Lucy. I need to sleep. Mom, I need to sleep. I'll, I'll, I'll call you back. Oh. My prince, as you do not want to use any of the standing mirrors inside, at least why not call any of your mates to help you? And you think I didn't do that? Well, I guess they might be busy with the queen. But since you're here, you could at least um, help me. Okay, for once, try being nice. The last time I did, you thought I was trying to score points. I had to. Hmm? Stay on my own. I looked the other way. Though. Okay. I mean, looking the other way is not enough. But at least walk away. Take it easy, please. You're injuring my neck. Sorry. How dare you? How dare you put your hands on my man? Trying to swear the king did not work. Now you are trying to swear my man, right? Isabel. It's not what you're thinking. I asked for it. You could as well ask me for it, my love. You know I'm your wife to be. And the future queen of this kingdom. Please never ask her for help. Her intentions are not pure. They are evil. Isabel, 
if you continue like this, you will die of high blood pressure. It is real. Don't die young. Let me bother about that. Rubbish. I told you. Uh, let me... I'll see you when I come back. Okay. Stay. Oh. oh, really? You want to go with him? Where are we? Your Majesty, you sent for me. Sit, sit. The last time we spoke, I gave my approval for marriage negotiation to commence between our family and the Isabel's family. I've been waiting ever since that time for somebody, for, for somebody to, to call me. How come nothing is happening? What is going on? Your Majesty, Isabel told me that um, she would get across to her parents and get back to me. But it seems she's having some kind of difficulty considering the parents are not in the country at the moment. What kind of a stupid, lame excuse is that? So whoever the person is cannot be communicated on the phone? For crying out loud, we've been living with this girl for the past one month. A woman for that matter. And her parents have not deemed it fit to contact us to know where their daughter is living, whether she's safe or not. Between you and I, you know we don't know anything about this girl, Isabel. All we know is that her name is Isabel Binu, and she wants to get married to you. Apart from that, we know nothing else. Whether she's a ghost, whether she's a human, whether she's from the planet Earth, we do not know. Woman, for your mother is right. Because everything concerning this, your girl, is shrouded in mystery. Okay. Apart from you telling us that her name is Isabel Binu or Bunu or whatever you raised, we don't know anything about her. And that is something the royal family will not want to get involved with because we don't want anybody to surprise us. What kind of family is she from? That for a month now, a woman is living with some people and their parents have not established any form of contact with them. It goes a long way to show something about their level of decency. Okay. And honestly, we are not comfortable with that. Young man, I am giving you 24 hours. In fact, tell her to contact her parents in the next 24 hours to get to us. Else, you two should forget about that marriage. It will never hold. I'm not going to marry a spirit. And when I have finally got to my parents to consent, they don't want to have any cold feet. I mean, they want to weave it. Weave it? Come on, darling. I'm not wavering. It's not like that. It's really not like that. I think it's not you wavering or having cold feet. It is time to be actively progressing. Give me your mother's international number. I need to place a call across to her. Immediately. Oh! 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 Stupid! Stupid! Stupid and dumb, Isabel. Ah, oh, darling. Ah! Oh, how on earth did I forget this? Ah, oh, babe. My mother called me with a payphone some days ago. To say that she was robbed of her phone and some valuables. What? Yeah, it's pathetic. As, as it is now, we won't be able to get through to her. Even me. Unless she calls. Uh, we we'll have to wait pending when she retrieves her old phone or secures a new one. I'm so sorry, darling. Uh, how did I forget this? Uh, this is bad. Really bad. 
This is really bad. Yeah. There is no way my father, the king, will approve of this marriage if he doesn't speak with your parents. <sighs> when she calls, please tell her I need to speak with her. Oh, come here, darling. <laughs> ah, I know you can't wait to make me your queen. Yeah. And I can't wait. I mean, I have been crazy, crazy waiting for the day that I will be called your wife and the queen of this kingdom. <laughs> and I can't wait to do I mean, I can wait to be called your husband. I can't wait. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> ah. Hmm. I thought by now Mufe I should be, you know, wearing my dancing shoe in preparation for a royal wedding. What's delaying it? Um apparently my parents, um, the king and the queen have refused to go with the preparations if they don't hear from Isabel's parents. <laughs> Which is how it should be. Oh yes, Isabel didn't fall from the sky. Someone gave birth to her. What is she saying about her parents? And has she told them about the alliance? She said her parents, I mean her mother, is, um, is unreachable after losing her phone. Okay, so everything is, um, is on standstill right now. Mufe, aside Isabel having chains of businesses and her parents living abroad, what else do you know about her? You too? Yes. Are you also doubting her identity? Come on. First it was my parents, now you. This life is so unpredictable. Look, Press. It is possible that Isabel is unable to reach her parents. Okay, come on. I mean, she shouldn't be crucified or doubted for this singular act. Come on, give her the benefit of the doubt. Mufe, I'm just saying it's time. Yeah, it's really time Isabel matched her words with action. Look, this is the royal household we're talking about. I think everything should be eight bare. Thank you for reminding me of something like my father. Really? <laughs> Mofe, you really need to think about this truth. Think it through, bro. Excuse me. See, pants. This auntie is a rosacea from a rich man. So, how come she's doing it on pants? I'm surprised. Could it be something she uses to dust her tables or chairs? Did you say dust? Yes, of course. First of all, the artist and I know can never indulge in any house shows. Not to talk of cleaning. So how long rags are not part of her dirty clothes? So this auntie wears torn pants. I am surprised. But well, you know what? We have to pretend we didn't see this. Else we will be blamed for telling it. I don't want to be blamed for tearing it. We have to leave here now. Excuse me, do I look like I care? After all, she's a very proud and bloody liar. You don't care? Listen, just go. Let me get back to work. Go, go. I care. I said, I'm leaving. Waiting the sub. What is happening, babe? My girl. My girl, things are getting out of control. I mean, the closer I get, the more they make demands of my personal nature. God, I have been consistent with my lies. But now they need proof. 
And you know you cannot deny the royal heads their request. I don't even know what to do. English. <sighs> speak English. Ah, uh -uh. you should be speak English. That's why he I speak. Yes, no. Because if you not go straight to the points, it could be like say they speak Swahili. I know hear you way. Babes, I need an international number. A number that is not reachable. Do you have anybody that stays abroad? Uh, Canada, to be preferable. Uh, Canada. A number that is not reachable. I beg. How am I supposed to know someone like that? Someone that stays abroad. You know everyone abroad now. You know me. I'm just a simple girl. Uh -huh. Doing my things with no connection. What was I expecting? Mm? Was I expecting something good to come from you? I shop for you. I take you places to eat. I make sure you are comfortable. And for the first time I need something from you. What are you offering? Nothing. Oh. I'm just a parasite. Feeding Thank you me. for insulting me. Do I have to remind you that my bed is the best bed that you've ever slept on? Really? Ah, congratulations for your international number with the look for I beg, I beg, come on. <laughs> she will push you with two girls are Your Majesty. Ah, thank you. What do you think? Lucy here bought this one, her favorite picture. So nice, you like it? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I'm still trying to solve all the taste. You see, I usually roll something on my tongue just to analyze the taste. This is just an ordinary window. Either you like it or you don't like it. What is there to say? Is it your tongue? Are you my tongue? Well, Your Majesty, the one I buy from um, Peter Paris place is um, is made from foreign dogs. Yes, foreign essential, cute, healthy dogs. Uh, not uh, this ones here. I'm sure this was made from uh, the local beagles. That's why it has a different one. I just use actual dogs, live dogs, I mean, to make hot dogs. and eat that. <laughs> Why not, Your Majesty? It is very delicious. You should try it sometime. Uh, healthy looking foreign dogs. Yes. Not the local, uh, <laughs> like this. The, hmm, the taste is even different. The taste, the smell is really different. Your Majesty, you should try one of those. It's on another level. <laughs> okay, um, I never knew Peter and Perry sell hot dogs. Perry, that I know, they sell only male outfits. So, how did hot dog get in there? <sighs> Lucy, if you do not know, ask questions. And I'm willing to teach you. Have you been to the back of the shop? Just the backyard? That is where they sell the best hot dog in town. Your Highness, you should someday try it. Please, let me drop. Don't <coughs> drop this. I can't deal with the taste. It's not. <coughs> and um, they use dogs to make hot dogs. Mm -hmm. Foreign dogs. Hot foreign dogs. Healthy ones. Foreign hot dogs. Uh, this right here. Nah, it's cold. It's more like a cold dog. Oh, okay, they have cold hot dogs. Um, the local ones. ones should be cold. But... Uh, Your Majesty, um, you sent me. Sent them. What is wrong, Mother? I have given you and your girlfriend enough time to commence this marriage negotiation between our families that I have approved. How come nothing is happening? Your Majesty, it's not as if nothing is happening. It's just that um, Isabel's parents are going through some kind of challenges overseas. 
they lost their phones and um, other valuables to robbery. They, they are temporarily unreachable right now. How convenient. How convenient for you to say that. And I ask you, have you ever met Isabel's parents before? No. And have you spoken with them on the phone? No, mother. So what are we talking about? Mother, I was planning to do so, but I... I, 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 I mean, I stopped on a second thought. Wait until I have a good reason to do so. I mean, a reason like marriage. Oh! Huh. You see why I told you that we are giving this our son a lot of space. That's why he's doing a whole lot of nonsense. He has lost it. What is wrong with you? You mean you have been planning to marry a woman you never met her parents? Hey. What if she has no family? No, what if every single thing she has told you are all fabricated stories? Do you think royalty is a joke or something? What is wrong with you? Now, you listen to me. There is no way I will allow any vagabond to come and be living in my palace, possibly gathering information on the royal heads and then preparing to become the next queen of my kingdom? Your Majesty, nothing of sort is happening. Listen, I am giving, I'm giving her just additional space to come up with believable facts. Get us to know who her parents are. Or I will be left with no other option than not only to throw her out of this palace, but throw her out of the kingdom entirely. And then I'm going to dismantle every single negotiation you have with her. Don't look at me that way. Because what I just said is exactly what I'm going to do. Sure. Ah, my queens, what is it? What's going on? How can we come this far that the finishing line, everything's about to crumble? Come on, nothing is crumbling. It's just a mad day. And I'm sure with time, everything will be put together. Don't tell me that, listen. Do you realize this is the royal family? This is the royal house. The royal family do not beg to get alive with commoners. Rather, the commoners should feel fortunate to get alive with us. Wow. Wow. So this is the day when you rub the difference in class and status to my face. My prince, you know it is not my doing. I know, Isabel. Okay, I do. I mean, come on. It's not my making. Okay, my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do here. The king said you have until weekend to present very viable facts about who you are. Your family situation and background. Or consider your alliance terminated. This weekend? My prince! Please try and convince him. Yes, I tried. Isabel, I tried, but the king's mind is made up. Okay? Oh, come. I need to make you understand this. Drury House prides itself on morality, values, stability, and prestige. I mean, we cannot condone or tolerate any form of scandal. That is why the king is meticulous. That is why the king wants to be sure that you are who you said you are. Oh, babe. This is the way they frequent my house. I feel like I said if I had no sweet and continue again. Oh, Trish. I need urgent solution. I mean, as a day like this, my head won't burst. The royal heads are requesting for an international number to speak with my mother. You know, so I tell them say she did away now. Mm -hmm. Now they won't talk to her. As in, my brain is torn. <laughs> so when the marriage can't reach, what you could do? One step at a time. Babes, they talk about no, but they talk of marriage. Who they even reason marriage? 
If I don't give them that phone number this weekend, then go chase me come up from that palace. I can't get the number first before we talk about marriage, eh? I'm a secondary. Not true, sure. Hi. Um, the last time with me, you talk, eh? So, I think the matter, I reason now. I can call one of my computer friends. Hey? The guy says solution day. You see? But it will cost you big money. See, anything, how far? How one run am? Wait, wait to me the solution. Calm down, I'll not be laughing matter. Give me gist. Um, he said we go buy international number for internet. Then look for okay. somebody we go talk like your mother. Just like that. Mm-hmm. Hey! Hey! Boss here. Hey! 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 You know, say, since when me and you don't be friends, now today, bless you, your head catch fire. Hmm? I didn't tell you, bless you, now today, you can't get sex. <laughs> hey! Baby, baby, bless you. You see this one? If anything happen, I know deal. Now only you if you boss. Uh, now you alone, no? Really? Don't put me. But if money come, now me and you, go carry gun in that road. Now money, now. Nah. And then, stay! Hey, my baby, my head don't come down. Ah! <laughs> this guy. She's also. What do you want from me? What exactly do you want from me? You have asked me to stay on my space and I'm in my space. What do you want? You're not far enough, Lucy. My parents have been hot on Isabel because they feel you're an option. We need to eliminate every possibility of you becoming my wife. Okay. So how is this my fault? How is it my fault that Isabel cannot prove to your parents that she will make a good wife? How is it my fault that she keeps failing? How is it my fault? Because you're here. Lucy, as long as you're here, they keep comparing. Get married if possible, Lucy. Mm. Or go somewhere far away. I mean, stay completely far away from the palace. From myself. Listen to yourself talk. I definitely will not be rushing into marriage because of you. I will not rush into marriage because I want to prove to your parents that I am not good enough for you. And as for leaving the palace, I am not leaving this palace. I don't see that happen anytime soon, though. What do you want? What do you want me to do for you? Please. I beg you. Allow me to marry the woman I love. The woman my heart beats for. Yes, my parents have doubts about Isabel. Yes, I admit it. I admit they have doubts about her. That is why they feel if they out her, you will be there for me. But Lucy, you and I know that we can never be together. Okay. So you can be this nice. Did you just say please for the first time? Oh. Okay. Well, I have a plan. And when I'm done with the plan, <laughs> your parents will throw me out of this palace very fast. But all I need from you is to support me and blab so much terrible things about me as much as you want. It's fine. Lucy, I seriously do not know what you're planning. But it sounds good. It is good. So please get done with it already. Love comes in many ways. 
yeah. True love can happen in any place, yeah. When we are least expecting it, snakes into your heart like a thief. There's no certainty, yeah. In circumstances, wounds let you see it. Situations won't let you see it. Sometimes your ego won't let you have it. Yeah, yeah. But love can come in any form. Yeah, 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 yeah. So won't you take your stand? Love is worth fighting for. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Won't you take your stand? Love is worth fighting for. I know, I know. So won't you take your stand? Love is worth fighting for. Oh yeah. So won't you take your stand? Love is worth fighting for. So let's just do it right. It could be anywhere. Yeah. I know! I know! Hey, 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 and the Lord will not accept it because if you go to hellfire, you, with your, with your long nose, the Holy Spirit will burn you. You are going to hell if you don't go. What are you doing here? Father, please, can you go? Do you mind that I'm talking to my girlfriend? This is a possession of privacy. I'm invading your privacy. This privacy is supposed to be for God the Lord. Please. This privacy is supposed to be for God the Lord. Why you say that? Are you going to hell? Your privacy. Go home. Go home. I am sent from the father to sanitize the land. And I must sanitize the Lord because the king has sent you. Really? Our king sent you. We are the Lucy. We have been hearing. Ah no! The king sent you. Marry me, Marie! What brings you before the king? The man is, there is a mad woman who goes around the kingdom, playing for slim, that she is sent by his majesty to preach and cleanse the kingdom of sin. She goes by the name of Lucy. How dare you? How dare you talk lowly of the royal guest? Do you want your heads to be removed from your body? No, Your Majesty, please forgive us. This Lucy, we didn't know she lives here. She goes around preaching and instigating people to fight Your Majesty. Who put you up to this? I mean, who instigated you to come to the palace to pull this stuff? To come and insult a royal guest? Are you not aware that an insult on the royal guest is an insult on royalty itself? You are sorry, Your Majesty. We must have made a mistake. Maybe somebody is using the royal guest name to make mockery of the royal house. Please forgive us for this great mistake. Permit us to leave, Your Majesty. You are dismissed. Thank you, Your Majesty. Lucy, you know, um, despite your performance, my parents still don't believe that you can do something that low. I mean, their faith in you is so high. How did you do that? I did nothing. Don't worry. It will not be that easy, I know. But I do not expect the king and the queen to give up on me that easily. Okay. 
now that you've acknowledged that it's not going to be easy, what are you going to do? I don't worry. Don't worry. Hmm? I have it all figured out. For real. <laughs> <laughs> but I know it's going to bring a little dent to the royal name, but not too bad. But bad enough to throw me out of the palace, trust me. Lucy, in as much as I want to say thank you, and thank you for everything, I am sorry. I'm sorry for making you present yourself in such a terrible manner. Mm. Don't worry about that. I'm helping myself as well. I mean, anything to make us not get married is fine by me. <laughs> <laughs> anything. Lied. 
against our new guest. You will be severely punished. Be sure of what you're saying. Everything I said to you here is nothing but the truth. I didn't lie. Okay then. I want you to go to the office of the palace secretary and leave your account to the house. If after investigation it is discovered that one of the royal guests has touched your business, like we claim, then we are going to recover something. May you live long, my majesty, and I take my leave. You see, have you been going about the preaching? Yes, <laughs> I'm not just doing that for my own. You told me in my dream, you said I must come and liberate the land. That is land is very dirty. I, I, I must liberate the land. That, that's what I'm, I'm doing. I'm doing that on the order of the king. Lucy, that's a dream. Huh? How can you take a dream too seriously? What you go about doing preaching is causing pain. And people that will try come to complain about what you're preaching, the damages is caused on that. That is because they are evil. They are evil. They are saved by the devil, and they know that I brought fire to, to, to quench them. They can't go there on their own. I listen to you. I don't know whatever it is that I told you in my dream. That is a dream. Now I want you to face the reality. Whatever it is you are doing, I want you to stop. We have managed to establish a level of peace in this kingdom, and I don't want you to go disrupting that peace. So whatever you are doing, immediately, please. Now, shoot. I heard my father telling you that he wants you to quit. Are you going to do so? Hell no. I, I don't quit until I'm done. I'm not done yet, so not anytime soon. Anyways. Lucy, what you go about doing is very dangerous. You call preaching dangerous? No. That is not preaching, Lucy. That is provocation. You're provoking people with the Bible. I mean, you're instigating them to fight. What are you going to do if you're beaten up? <clears throat> okay, do you really care that much about me? This is the first time I'll be having a glimpse of your humanity. Really. You haven't answered my question. What are you going to do if these people decide to beat you in retaliation? I mean, the street is not gentle and nice. Hmm. No. You know you don't really know me that much. We used to be very poor before fortune smiled on us. See, I know they okay. I know normal. <laughs> hey, forget this dressing. Normally, I'll be street girl. I'll go just help us. You understand? So, don't worry. I'll take care of myself when it gets to that part. All right, if you say so, Lucy. If you need help, you know how to reach me. You really used to hit her and couldn't stand aside. But for some reason, you sneak to have conversations with her. What is going on? If only you know what Lucy is doing. She's helping us. Lucy is trying to put up an act for the king and the queen, just so we too. You and I can be together. Um, hold on a sec. Are you trying to say the complaints on her show is just, it's just a way to discredit her from being the next potential bride? 
Exactly. I mean, thanks to that, the king and the queen have had their hands full and um, have not asked you out of the palace. If things go right, I mean, if things go as planned, my father will throw Lucy out of the palace and he's in the process of our getting married. Wow. <coughs> That's interesting. Uh, but why is she doing it? What is her game? What's it there for her? Nothing. Nothing? Absolutely nothing. I mean, she's doing this just so she can uh, go back to her normal life. I mean, live her normal life. Oh. Okay, at least nobody's going to pressure her or trying to convince her to marry me. Wow, that's, that's okay. That's fine. But still, I don't like you getting close to her. I don't like it, especially when you look at her with so much concern. It gets me. Whoa. Come here. Say sorry. Come here. Say sorry. Come here. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> what we know, my dear, my dear. I know, I know, I know, I know that you will arise. The world will know. There's a marriage inside your body. Come out! <coughs> Come out! Out of your body! Come out! Speak to me! Who are you? What sort of embarrassment is this? And who are you to accuse me of being a, a marine agent? You are a marine agent. The king sent me to a life this sister and I am here. And when he called me, I said, Lord, I am here, I will go for you. I know! I know! I know! Excuse me, madam. I won't tolerate this insult from me again. I don't try to stop me again, excuse me. I know that you will arrive in that we know. My king, your loyal guest personally poured an item on me. See that I'm possessed. Take this one. Go buy yourself another way. She's our royal guest, and we are sorry for her actions. Thank you, Majesty. Thank you so much. Can somebody actually explain to me what is going on? Did I not specifically give an instruction to this young woman that I want her to discontinue this troublesome mission of hers? Didn't I give that instruction? Majesty, I am worried about you. This is unlike Lucy. How can she go to the community, cause trouble, and lead the victims back to this place? I don't know whatever reason she has for doing that. But I've been tolerating this all this while because I can't see her as a daughter. But if this lingers on my beautiful wife, nobody, nobody will be able to explain what I'm going to do. You know, just, I am sorry. Please don't be angry. I, I, I believe there's a logical explanation to all this. But fleet, I don't know whether I have it is. I will ask her to do this for me. Whatever thing you want to discuss with her, go ahead and do it. But there is no way I will allow anybody, whether royal guest or anybody the person is, to bring insult on the royal family. I am not going to allow that. <laughs> What is the reason for this grin you're having on your face? Whew. I just don't uh, know how she came up with this um, creative solution to our problems. <laughs> Who are you talking about? Lucy. I mean, Lucy, that girl is mad. You know, I, I never saw her in that light. She, she goes about doing this uh, crazy evangelism pissing people off and uh, causing them to react by coming to the palace to label a complaint against her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> girl is bad. I, I just can't wait to, to follow her so I can see the next action. I mean, I can see things for myself. Oh, so, uh, make it make sense to me. You, yeah. you now want to follow Lucy around, your greatest enemy. 
Oh, that's preposterous. That's crazy, man. <laughs> Come on. You're saying all this because you, you don't know anything. You've not seen anything. Look, Lucy is doing whatever she's doing for herself. Okay? She's doing this things just so my parents can uh, hate her, reject her, and ask her from the palace. Wait. Wait, my friend. Mm -hmm. it, it, you, is she okay? I mean, is she crazy or something? The Lucy that loves your parents so much that she can go any length for them. Now acting as a villain so they can hate her. Who, who are you and what are you doing in the prince's body? Listen, Rex. I, I never thought of it in this light, okay? I mean, she said it herself. She said she's doing it for herself as well, okay? I, I believe she'll be fine. In fact, she's fine. But the truth is, um, I just wish this can go on and on and on. I mean, go on forever. But you're crazy. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> That's why I can't wait. I mean, I can't wait to see the next crazy thing she does. <laughs> no, I mean, Mofe, you, you're having fun. Of course I am. That's the fact. I am. I mean, I can't wait to see the next crazy thing she does. Come on! You're crazy. <laughs> You're really crazy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, you order that much. How are you able to eat it all? I don't understand. <laughs> it's my stomach in tank. I mean, what I did was, I ordered for two plates of food. Okay. I made sure it was full. I took a spoon from each of them. I ate the meat. And then I told her, thank you so much for feeding a woman of God. <laughs> Woman of God, indeed. Lucy, you're crazy. You know you're crazy. I mean, this is this is interesting. I never knew it's going to be this fun. You know, surprisingly, I am I am looking forward to the next action. You know. I, I think I'm done <laughs> because with all this, I think it's enough for the king to throw me out. And then I have fulfilled my mission in the palace. Then so you can go ahead with your plans. No. I just wish the king can persevere for a longer time. Coming from you. You that is in a hurry to get married. <laughs> no, you can't be the one saying this. I mean, my mission here will be over. And then you can go ahead and marry your Isabel. I'm not here to entertain you, remember? But I'm entertained. I mean, I am. Mm. There is nothing anyone can do about it. I mean, there is nothing even I can do about it. <laughs> You're crazy. You know, right? <laughs> You know you're crazy. <laughs> Stop. I'm not. Oh, <laughs> 
I never set her to do anything. I, I'm not saying you are lying because something must have happened to you. She must have done something. And that's why I'm assuring you that I'm going to handle it. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. It's okay. Stop crying. Cry no more. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. I know something is wrong somewhere, but you're going to fix it. You will not lose your business. You will not lose your home, okay? Thank you. Don't have to lose your you're not just going to leave. I am going to send the palace secretary to come and speak with your husband. He's going to explain to your husband exactly what happened, how this entire conspiracy started. I am very certain your husband will be able to understand what actually transpired. You're not going to lose your marriage. Thank you, Majesty. Majesty, thank you. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Your Majesty, everyone is complaining. Everybody is complaining. And they're having little gatherings on how to revolt against the royal house. All because of what Lucy is doing in the name of the king. My, my problem is, why would she perpetrate something this evil in my name? Why? You handle this whole matter. Yeah, I know that. But Lucy has sowed a seed of discord, a bad seed of discord in this marriage. I don't know what is wrong with that girl. I just don't know. Uh, Your Majesty, I suggest you send her out of this palace. Yes, before the royal house becomes enemy with its subjects. I'm sure you wouldn't. Are you okay? What, what happened? Share with me. What is it? Sometimes I ask myself why I have to go this far to just to be kicked out of the royal palace. I see. This must be really hard for you. Look, Lucy, I... I know that you're human, okay? You're not a monster. I know how you feel. I mean, I understand the feeling. I don't think you do. I mean, this action of mine is ruining people's businesses. I'm spoiling people's homes. Every single thing I touch doesn't work out. This is not right. Do you want to stop? I mean, what is the essence of the whole thing if it makes you miserable? Lucy, you're a nice person. You have a beautiful heart. I mean, you're kind-hearted. You feel the pain of the subject when you see them suffer. But look at me. I am the next king of this kingdom. Yet I derive entertainment from their pain. I mean, from my subject. It is not about you, my prince. It's about me. What do you mean? Come on, Lucy, how can you say that? We're in this together, okay? I'm as guilty as you are. You're doing this for me. My prince, I cannot stop now. I must continue this until I am kicked out of the palace. You need to achieve the aim while we are doing this. I don't think I can go on with this until I'm out of this place. I see your mind is made up. 
and you can't wait to get out of the palace. I thought we'd become friends. Please don't talk like this. We are friends. You're actually not as cold as I thought. My prince, we will always remain friends. Sometimes your ego won't let you have it. Yeah, yeah. But love can come in any form. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So won't you take your stand? Love is worth fighting for. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So won't you take. I have made my decision on this. Lucy is leaving this palace and this is final. Your Majesty, is she fine? With this her behavior, I'm thinking if she's okay. Okay, shouldn't we uh, 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 invite a medical expert? Uh, I'm sending her away. She'll be worse. Why should I do that? No, 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 you want us to tie her up in a room or something? Are you not supposed to be bothered with what she is doing to the image and reputation of the royal family? Every single nonsense she does out there backfires on us because she's a royal guest. I know, I understand what you're saying. I clearly understand what you're saying. I genuinely worry for what she's doing to us. But my question is, is she sick in the head? I don't know why we are holding this discussion. What she's doing is to instigate our subjects against us. And you are still making a case for her? Lucy is leaving this palace. And this is final. I told him that God will not accept that money. The mm. money is stained. Oh, hey. I said, let me pray. When I was releasing anointing on them, that was when the devil unleashed. If you see the way I ran, <laughs> <laughs> I ran. You see, you're, you're not okay. You know, Lucy, I have always been worried about you. I mean, the very day they will catch you, the day they will beat you. Hey, hey. Prince. Lucy, it's not going to be funny. It's not going to be funny. I mean, that will be my end. That will be my end. <laughs> you will let you see the way his eyes turned red. Hmm? I ran. <laughs> hey, I took off. Okay, so, um, where is the next action film taking place? Because I want to go with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to see things myself. Mm -hmm. huh? No, 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 Lucy, I insist. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to tell me. I want to see myself. I'm not doing it again. I'm done. Before they kill <laughs> I mean, the problem I've caused already is enough for them to throw me out. Okay. I'm just praying this does not tarnish the relationship between my mother and the queen. Come on, Lucy. You're not the only one in this. Okay? I'm equally as guilty as you are. I'm equally responsible. You know, I could tell the king myself. No, you're not going to do that. If you do that, then... Why are we in this together? Why, why, why did we do this? Anything to make us not get married. Don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> right. Wow. You two are friends now. Mm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I sense something else. What? Enemies. United by terror art against the kingdom. And some sparks flying. <laughs> you know, Rex, if not that you're my friend, I would have said you're a madman. <laughs> Please, nothing no of that. I mean, nothing. Uh -uh. Are you sure? Yes, nothing. There's no spark flying. See, I am tired. I'm tired. I need to go back to my house. I need to live my normal life. Mm -hmm. Okay, before you do that, I. I love what I'm seeing. I will leave you guys to I'm enjoying what you two are doing. Get to it, get to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I insist. No. I'm going with you next. No, I'm doing Lucy, I'm going with you. Lucy, what do you have to say? 
about the series and series of misdemeanors recorded against you in the last few weeks. Your Majesties, I, I am sorry for bringing the dance to the real name. But I am not sorry for what I did. As I did it because I I did it to make somebody happy. And they are happy together now. What? What are you saying? You ruined people's reputation. You caused them loss in their businesses. You almost ruined a marriage. And you said it's for them to be happy. You did it for their own good. What are you saying? Now I don't understand. This is unbelievable, Lucy. I would have made the terrible mistake of my life at the highest of it all. For making you my son's wife. Lucy, you are here bad. From this palace. And on no account must you be cited anywhere associating with any member of the royal family. I still consider you family and that is why I am allowing you to leave this palace in one piece. But if it is ever reported that you are cited anywhere with a member of the royal family, nobody will like what I'm going to do to you. What is the problem? Where would he be? We almost gave him a wife who would have ruined his reign. That is enough for any man to feel so dejected. My son, don't worry. We have realized our mistake by believing that Lucy is a good person. You can have your Isabel. You can yes. hasten the marriage arrangement. We are all behind you. Yes. Based on what has happened, we have accepted Isabella wholeheartedly. We have. I just wish I can find my laughter again. My laughter is gone. Don't worry. Isabel will help to restore your laughter again. The one Lucy took with her. Miss Demino, just hasten up because you're going to get married as quickly as possible. Yeah? Yes. Mofe, 
Now we are in your office. What is wrong with you? Why are you acting up? Why are you acting as though something has really gone wrong? Rex, do you want to know the truth? Yes, that's why I followed you up. Not knowing. Lucy added so much love and spice to my life. Now she's gone from the palace of my life and I miss her so much. Arambala, Prince of Chalachala Kingdom. What is wrong with you? The same Lucy who you don't want to be around her. Now you now miss her? Yes, I miss her. I mean, I... I must admit it. I do miss her. Yes. Lucy... That lady is extraordinary. She made me laugh. She made my days so exciting. Look, I... I want to meet her again. And again and again. I want to spend time with her. My friend, what you need is to get married to Isabel. Yes. Because Lucy has gone the extra mile for you to have your perfect love story. Don't mess it up. What can I do, my friend? And it was as if an important part of me left with her. My parents feel I am sad because she did bad or she left. I just can't bring myself to telling them that. I am actually sad because she left the palace. Mofet, you need to go home. Yes. You need to go home, sleep over this. And when you wake up, I'm sure you'll figure something out. Right now, you're totally confused. Go home, my friend. You're welcome, my friend. Thank you. I'm so surprised to see you. This is... well, thank you. Mm. Uh, I... I had to come. No, I have a word since you left the palace. Why? Did the king reject Isabella? Not at all far from it, in fact. Everything worked perfectly. As a matter of fact, my parents gave their word that we should get married as soon as possible. Congratulations. <laughs> my prince, this is a big deal. At least you get to marry the love of your life. Thank you so much, Lucy. You're welcome. Are you okay? How have you been coping? I mean, how are you doing? Knowing full well that you born the bridge with this child. Now my parents hate you so much. I'm fine. I will be fine. My prince. At least what we planned worked out for you. You get to tell your love story very soon. <laughs> All thanks to you, Lucy. I mean, I can never forget what you did for me. Those few weeks were actually the best. I mean, the happiest moment of my life. Thank you so much, my friends. Do not worry. Isabella will give you more happy times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Congratulations again. So what do I offer you? My babe, congratulations. I heard the king has approved your marriage with the prince. <laughs> so you think Sena to stay for palace, carry me go there? I don't understand. Babes, 
No, baby girl. No waiting, carry me go there. As you see me like this, I don't already the convinced Prince. Yes, to get my passport and my visa. Immediately we travel, go vacation. Now from there, your girl they tell out. Oh, are they cut off? Now miss, are they go miss? Missing in action. Not only him go come back this country. No, baby, with that. Isabel. Mm -hmm. So you know, like the prince, you don't love him at all. Who love help? Eh? 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 He gets one person for this life where be say now love where they carry put for place for me they chop. Who love help? So as my mother did there, so on that rain, on that sun, they sell things for road. They hustle, they struggle. You want me to die like that? Who my way be say if even when body pain come, mm. only the day me I carry her move. Now nah, a bonnie will carry massage her. Ah, she don't suffer do my dear. Once everything done ready like this, I don't carry my mother. Fiam, we don't travel out of this country. <laughs> Not be me and them the one do that one. I even find out say don't they fall in love with that, that or that stupid girl. You know, consign me, eh? Lucy, I've been okay, a Lucifer wait, waiting behind him. Wait, wait. Eh? You sure say you go escape this one? Now, royal people, you won't scam, so. How much be the scam, Kwano? Are they collect 10 billion? How much be the money these people are rich? They get money. You know, say, get the money where you collect from rich man, you know, go even feel them. My poor man will say, you collect in five naira, you go swear, you go carry go a mad your vogue, everything. Mm -mm. Rich men, they do not behave like that. I go cut out, take my cut out. Now be the anything when they want to know their body, you no know, consign me. I don't cut out, so I don't cut out. My mother deserves better life, I beg. Mm -hmm. Babe, I beg, anytime more go take one bottle. You don't say that pal is safe. Person you know the feet smoke, you know the feet drink, nothing. Wait, I make her go. Hey, go. It's an hour, no go drink. You know one clear eye. Uh -huh. Go clear eye, I beg. You don't my friend. <laughs> so mommy, as it is like this now, we are not enemies. We're not enemies now. Mom, Lucy, you broke my heart. How can you make mockery of the king's benevolence? Why did you do it? Mm. I did it for a reason. Mommy, I did it for a very good reason. And that reason is personal. But at least what I did made somebody happy. Someone is living a very happy life somewhere now. Is this person so important? that you don't mind severing ties with the royal house. In fact, who is this person? Mm. <coughs> Mommy, I told you, okay, let's forget about this for now. I'll, talk, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you later. It's very private. Forget about that. Okay. We'll go back to the way we are. No talking to each other. Yes, until you tell <coughs> me <laughs> who the person is or what the person means to you. Mm -hmm. Now, the mother I know, my mother has a forgiving heart. Mm? Mm. Mommy, stop now! Mm. I say I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. You tell me now. I want to go hard. Huh? My king, my queen, please, please, on behalf of my daughter, I say sorry. Please, I say sorry to the royal family. What she did is unforgivable, I know that. But Lucy has always been like a daughter to you. And that is the reason she is still free and breeding. Nobody uses the name of the king to perpetuate evil and still lives. She's like a daughter to me, like you said. And that is the reason it happened and I am... I have seen this scam. I know what I would have done, but... <sighs> my king, my king, please. She said she did it for a reason, for someone to be happy. Though she never said who the person is. But... Your daughter tarnished the image of the royal family because of one person? No, no, no. You are kneeling before me actually confirming that your daughter caused so much pain to my subjects because of one person. One person that we don't even know. Oh, Juliana. I was thinking you raised an intelligent woman in that daughter of yours. I am thinking otherwise now. Juliana, my queen. Lucy has not shown any form of remorse. She even opened her mouth to say she did not regret it. How can 
can you be kneeling here, pleading for who is not even sorry for her actions? Come on. You know what? My decision on this stands. Lucy is no longer allowed to come anywhere near the royal family. Hey, hey, hey. I say that it stands. Making people When we are least expecting it, snakes into your heart like a thief. There's no certainty. Yeah. Mofe, I need you to understand that I intend to write a letter to the elders in council, to the chiefs in council. And that is a letter that will be sealed with the royal seal of the royal family. Intimating them that you are getting married for them to start preparing all the marriage rights for the prince. Your Majesties, are we not rushing things here? What? Really? Few months here? You couldn't wait to get married to Isabel. Now we're actually giving you what you wanted. You think we're rushing things? You dare say that to our faces? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I'm sorry, Mother. But I still think we have to slow down. I mean, Father, the marriage of the prince is a big deal. It's not something I intend to, to toil with or to, to, to mess with the royal house. That is why I got the chiefs involved. Father, I still insist we slow down. Please. I mean, we've not heard from the bride-to-be parent. We cannot go ahead with the marriage preparations without their, their involvement or, or even their awareness. But you already gave us your word. That they are reputable people. Decent people from decent background. You actually mentioned that they are well to do and currently not in the country. And they are not reachable because of circumstances beyond their control. Father, I can no longer vouch for that. I mean, some things do not add up. Your Majesties. I am not ready to risk the reputation of the royal house, finding out what is amiss, father. Mm. This one will you know get peace. Abort this mission impossible. Make you find peace. Which one be mission impossible? And which one be abort? You think you want to make a bot for this mission? Why do they even talk to you, Seth? First, you never enter palace. You get with you, you know where they happen there. Then hey, why you look like this? See as you look now. You don't get peace at all. Hi, babe. Babe, you get this issue again. As in a... See, Prince. Prince will be there my matter plenty. Will be there also me. I don't, I don't understand these days. You just don't get cold feet. Best way we say parents don't give go ahead, say make we marry. All of a sudden, one follow due process. Say he must talk to my parents first. Can they tell him, Papa and Mama, make them hold on until you then talk to my parents? Before go. So, baby, expect the royals to marry you without seeing your parents. Where did it happen? Hi. Eh? What if you be Mami Water? Come down with this yarn in Jerry. Mami Water no consign me. My own team be say, eh. As it stands now, you no get a CB man no carry that 10, 10 milli come off for that place. Mami was for their pocket too. I, I, I must also that money. And now you pay don't try. I don't go too far to, to leave that palace with nothing. You know what the person don't do? I can't come come there, they can't tell me to make I move, I can't come out there without anything. You know if it happen no. How go burn the burn area? Hmm. Okay. Oh. Hey. Good luck. See. I wish you the best. Let's make a talk before. Let's make a talk before. I've been living free me, free me, free me. Oh, yeah, eh. So 
I came to see you, Lucy. Or oh, you still hate me? No. We are friends, but you know the king will not be happy seeing us together. At this point, Lucy, I do not care. I miss you. I mean, yes, I must admit it, okay? I miss you. I miss you so much. I want to see you every day. Please. What are you trying to do? You want to get me punished? Is that what you want? The king placed a royal ban on my head not to come to the palace or get close to anybody from the royal house. Why are you doing this? See, I don't care, okay? Look, I really do not care. You make me happy. Okay, I mean, all that matters to me right now is it's my happiness. Lucy, I want to be with you. I'll go and call off the marriage preparations with Isabel. What is wrong with you? Are you going crazy? No, I'm not. My prince, we fought not to be together. I mean, you made me burn bridges because of you. And you know you... I mean, why are you saying those beautiful things to me when you know there is a royal ban on my head? Because, Lucy, I can't think straight, Lucy. <sighs> I mean, I can't get you off my head. Ever since you left the palace, I have never been the same. You see, you, you left with the better part of me. I was trying to get rid of you. I, I was unaware I drifted towards you instead. Lucy, please. I beg you. Let us date in secret. Please. And if what we feel for each other is strong enough, we can then come out in the open and, and fight the public if we must stay together. Please, so beg you. you take your stand? Love is worth fighting for. So let's just do it right. When we are least expecting it, Snakes into your heart like a thief. There's no certainty. Yeah. And circumstances won't let you see it. And situations won't let you see it. Sometimes you're in. Are you okay? Wrong question. The question should be Are we okay? This minute you're in a hurry to get married to me. The next minute you're waiting for my parents' consent. Whereas your father, the number one man in this kingdom, has given his consent. My parents are my subjects and cannot oppose the king's consent. So why are you suddenly advocating for their consent? Because I don't want you to appear as though I'm forcing them around. Everyone must be able and involved. You are now developing your outfit and suddenly want to follow standards. Well, <clears throat> I need your help. You need my help? What for? I don't know this for. My business. I recently lost some funds and I'm, I'm obviously running at loss and I, I really need some funds. And how much are we talking about here? Just tell me your Okay. I'll consider a person in your back. No. Uh, you will consider my request and give back to me. Really? 
Are you giving me the money or not? I mean, why are you acting like it's a big deal? How much is 10 million naira? Do you know what it took me to even ask you for help? Baba, 10 million naira that I spend on the shop. Is it because I'm having some financial issues in my business? Are you giving me the money, yes or not? I said, I Worth fighting for. Oh, oh, I know, I know. So when you say you're worth fighting for. Agree to do the, this? Mm -hmm. Dating in secret? Okay, we had the world to ourselves, but we didn't date. Why are we doing it now? Mm, because it's beautiful. Mm. And you and I dating in secret is beautiful. I like the hide and seek thing. Okay, <laughs> you like it? Mm -hmm. You're enjoying it? Mm -hmm. What if I've been caught? If I'm being caught, they are going to flog me and punish me. Do you oh, take my punishment for me? Please, I will. Okay, I will. Look, if it means me walking away from the throne, I will. I will walk away from the throne if I can have you. Okay. Mm -hmm. As sexy as that sounds, I know how you dream and your wishes to make your subjects proud of you. Mm -hmm. And if I love you as I say, mm -hmm. I should help you achieve your goals. Aww. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> 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 yeah. True love can happen in any place. Yeah. How are you today? When we are Very well, thank you. Good. My love, have you noticed our son of late? What about him? Is he okay? Health-wise, he's fine. Good. But he's unusually happy. He looks, in fact, he takes care of himself more now. Even though he delayed his marriage with Isabel, he's not talking about it. Our son behaves like a schoolboy in love. Maybe he has decided to go back to his old ways of not wanting to be married. But I don't understand. Because just like you noticed, something changed in him. You have specific details? Our son stares himself in the mirror endlessly. He now minds his dressing. Shops more for perfumes. I am sorry if I sound like a stalking mom. But the reason for this new prince has to be investigated. Should we detail one of the guards to follow him in secret? Well, I am not one of those kings who will detail any of the palace workers to be stalking his own son. No. Your Majesty is not stalking. It's follow. But don't mean the same thing. If you decline that, I will respect it. But it would have been good we know why he's this happy. We can stop the acts now. You and I know that the reason you're still keeping me in this act is so that your parents will think we're still in love and uh, that you still want to get married to me. We both know that your desires have changed. Same with your choices. I like it when you call the choice, Isabel. You're right. I like it when you call the chase. You're correct. You're right. You're smart and I like you for that. I am in love with Lucy. There's nothing you or anyone can know about it. <laughs> really? Secret affair? Oh yes! Your relationship with Lucy is considered forbidden in this house. Hope you know that. You now resort to cheap blackmail. You want to extort money from me? Listen, I do not fear women. 
I don't feel God to be off what they bring to the table. I am the prince of this great kingdom, Chala Chala Kingdom. Listen. If you think you want to black me, bring it up. I will hit you hard and you will see me come. <laughs> I abandoned my business, my life, everything to come to this palace. And you think I will walk out of that door without a dime? <laughs> no means. I demand to be compensated. And I demand 10 million euro. So I can go and tell the king why we are being taken. You demand? Seriously? Did I not invest my time and emotions in this? What about Lucy? I mean, what about Lucy who invested at all? She even bought bridges for this. What would then be her conversation? Lucy did what she wanted to do. She did all that so she could be praised. She came to this palace. She spent some time with you. And you subconsciously bonded with her. Even after she left, you left with her while you were still with me. You now resort to cheat blackmail? You want to extort money from me? You have 24 hours to grant my request. Else I will go to the king and tell him that you and Lucy are having a secret affair which is forbidden in this world. Do you know how the king of Bala would feel when he finds out that his only son flattered his orders and made him I'm only a plantain seller. But I'm doing this because it's not plantain season. Why are you desperately looking for my daughter? Mother, it's not about you. Okay, I've already done my research. I mean, I've asked questions, so I know you're a petty plant yourself. Yes. It is about your daughter. Can you call her for me? Isabel. Isabel! Isabel! Ma! Isabel! Ma! Come on, that one is for you. Okay, come on. Okay, for me. Yes. Who is that? <laughs> Cause everything's fake and everything's false It's all lies Come here. you don't belong Cause everything's fake, it won't be long That you'd be caught and it would cut Are you surprised? through your life Cutting everything apart Please my prince, what is this all about? Your daughter here tried to defraud the royal house through impersonation Hey! She claimed that you were stranded abroad I needed 10 million naira. She demanded 10 million naira for me to do. What, what did you call that again? Look, look at you. Just look at you. She needed Isabel. 10 million naira for me to, to, to save a dying business. I mean, a non-existing business. Hey. Isabel. The abroad you promised me, was it by defrauding the prince? Jesus. I've never complained about my life. Yes. I may be poor, but I'm not a criminal. My prince, please forgive us. I've not been able to give her the kind of life she wanted. She envies girls her age from rich homes and wanted a good life. I failed her. Come on, mother, stand up. Please, get it. Yep. Sorry. Sorry. Please, you did not fail her. And she failed you. Living a life of contentment is great wealth. Yes. She almost ruined her life with greed. If she had come out plain to tell me who she really is, I mean her background and her status, I would have continued this relationship. Because I loved you. Hey, I didn't know. The royal house only wanted my happiness. They never considered background or status or whatever as an yestic for me to select my queen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Baby, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. 
I know you love me. You still do. Let's start all over again. Let me introduce my mother. Let me start all over. I just wanted the good things of life. What is even wrong in wanting the good things of life? What is bad in it is lies. Deceit. Extortion and blackmail to get it. That's what is bad, Isabel. I'm going to have your things sent to you from the palace. Hey, no, it doesn't go into that. Hey. And I will personally tell the king that this, that it's not us. I will personally make sure you will not spend the rest of your life in jail because of your mother. Thank you, my prince. I will make sure she never goes near the palace anymore. Oh, mother, I will hey. never expose hey. anyone in your lifetime. Me. See, yeah, I, was, I was scared. I was scared you would love me for me. Please, please, please. Wait, 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 wait. Jesus. Hey, what is it? 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 What is Hey! You don't belong. Cause everything's fake. It won't be long. That you'd be cut and it would cut through your life. I mean, I am sorry it took me this long to do what I was supposed to do. I was scared of finding because I don't know what I might find, but. But I took the boldness and courage and discovered that Isabel lied about everything. She was an imposter. And a complete imposter who lied about her parents living abroad. Her mother is just a, a, a petty trader. A platinum seller. She's nice. I mean, she's kind-hearted. A good woman who is contented with her life. Who gave birth to one greedy, dejected daughter. Your Majesty. I broke off things with Isabel. But well, before I did that, my heart started beating for someone else. I never knew I could come to love her. She has always been around. Honestly, son, I am so proud of you. Thank you, Father. I'm proud of you because despite your feeling, you still rose to the royal challenge to respect the dignity of the royal family. To run a background shake on this event. It goes a long way to show me that you have become very much hope. And you are very well fired to be the nice thing of this thing. So proud of you. But if I may ask, who is this new woman that you are seeing now? I mean, the one that already consumed your heart within such a short period of time. Excuse me, Father. Excuse me, Father. Sorry, Father. Mother, please forgive me. Your Majesty, we have not come here in total disregard for your orders. Just so you know the truth, and you see, here I wasn't able to say, and took the punishment all by herself. Father, whatever Lucy did to incur your wrath, I made her do it. Father, she did it just so I will be happy. I asked her to find a way to, to make you hate her, reject her and ask her out of the palace, just so I could have a perfect love story with Isabel. She did aggressive evangelism. So get you out of the 
and you are upset and push that away. So in fact, what is wrong with both of you? Right from when you were little, both of you never got along. You were never friends. Your mother and I, on our own, decided to bring you both together and see whether an alliance can be formed. What did you do? Both of you vehemently walked against it and made sure you both got separated. And here you are, against the order of the king, you are expecting to be back together. I have been looking for the perfect queen. She has been in my life since I was a child. But I never discovered it until she was willing to burn bridges for me just so I would be happy. Mother, she went against everyone just so I could have love. Father, that is something only a woman who is kind of would do. She will always put others first. When I saw her cry after her thing was sorted, despite the pain gave reparations, Father, I knew I had found my pain. I knew I had found the perfect thing to rule beside me. Mommy, please, I am sorry. Father, please forgive us. Please. What can I say? Who am I to fight destiny? Because destiny is what is playing out for me right now. You see. I want you to see me, not just as a king. I want you to see me as your father. Because you are going to be my brother. Mother, you have my blessings. I am the weakness mother. Tears in my eyes. For my son to marry the woman I wanted for him. I'm not just marrying her. I'm falling in love with her. This is going to be a very gentle. Celebrate her. Come here. Gilera, I called you to notify you that I have written a letter to the chiefs, the council of chiefs, intimating them of the marriage that is going to take place between your daughter and our son. <laughs> it is amazing because it is not expected, but it is happening finally. So the chiefs, by that letter that is sealed by the royal seal of the royal family, they are aware that we are going to be having a coronation and a marriage this Sunday. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Thank you so much for setting my daughter back despite the pain she cost you. Thank you, Your Majesty. We didn't have much of a choice. My son was ready to abdicate the throne. If we didn't accept her. In fact, he was indeed behaving so abnormal like a man who was fiercely in love. So we had no choice. My wife is right. <laughs> when I was looking at him that day, I was not just seeing pleading. I was seeing a young man who was telling us in a very clear language that our acceptance or otherwise may not actually matter anymore. <laughs> 
because they have already engaged themselves as man and the woman. Enough. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so he was so fiercely in love, like my wife said, just like his father. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm so happy our dream came through. Yes, so my queen, we have always wanted to go from best friend to in-laws, and that we have achieved. Sure, mm -hmm. we have achieved it. I am so happy we are going to have the best royal marriage ever. ever. And nothing but the best. The best. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Hey, stop thanking me, please. <laughs> There's something about gifts that can make the receiver remember all the things they already forgot. What does that mean? Do you, do you have a gift for me? <laughs> it started slowly though, but finally it metamorphosed into the biggest thing in the palace. What can that be? You. You. You see, my friend Mufe, the prince of Chalachala Kingdom, has discovered something in you that he has never seen before ever. And uh, he's about to do something he has never done before. This has been in my family for eight generations now. It was given to my grandmother and she passed it on to me. It is very precious to me. I hold it there to my heart. My grandmother said in her words, I will not be there to select a bride for you. But when you find the woman your heart beat for, when you find the woman that reminds you of my fierce spirit and compassionate nature, fit this ring into a finger. Lucy, will you accept this ring as a token of my love to be my wife? and my queen. Sometimes your ego won't let you have it, yeah, yeah. But love can come in any form, yeah, 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 yeah. So won't you take your stand? Love is worth fighting for, oh, oh yeah, yeah. So won't you take your stand? Love is worth fighting for. Oh, oh, oh. I know, I know. So won't you take your stand? Love is worth fighting for. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So won't you take your stand? Love is worth fighting for. Oh, oh. So let's. Just do it right It could be any way yeah. True love can happen in any place Yeah When we are least expecting it 
snakes into your heart like a thief. There's no certainty. Yay. And circumstances won't let you see it. And situations won't let you see it. Sometimes your ego won't let you have it. Yeah, yeah. My love can come in any form, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So won't you take your stand? Love is worth fighting for. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So won't you take your stand? Love is worth fighting for. Oh, 